Chapter 1501 Who is the Madman? Translator Born to be more and more sects were destroyed by Long Chen. The entire Eastern Xuan region became tense. Those people who had once attacked Long Chen in the Eastern Xuan city were especially nervous. Yet unexpectedly, news suddenly came from a certain sect they swore that if Long Chen dared to come, the entire sect would fight to the last drop of blood against him. They would never surrender to brute force and most certainly not to a treacherous fiend who would destroy his own sect. This was clearly a provocation, and it astonished countless people. Was this sect really courting death? Long Chen came and went like a ghost. They were truly brazen to provoke him. Novaloon.com, however, curiously, after destroying 50 plus sects, Long Chen suddenly vanished. It had been several days without any movement from him. People guessed that the sect that had provoked him had definitely been reinforced by others and had most likely laid down a heaven encompassing net. They were just waiting for him to jump into it. This sect was called the Seven Star Gate. It wasn't particularly large or small. However, because it was a devout follower of Pill Valley, it was doing quite well for itself. On this day, within a tall tower of the Seven Star Gate, over ten powerful life star experts were lying in wait. One of them was a small man with a long beard, and he was the gate master of the Seven Star Gate. But now, amongst these people that had gathered, his position was the lowest. The highest position went to a somewhat sinister-faced elder whose eyes were blazing with such fierce killing intent that no one else dared to look at him. This person was someone Long Chen was very familiar with. He was someone whose sect had already been destroyed by him, the master of the destroyed heaven-suppressing magic sect. Chi Yuneo. Chi Yuneo had previously looked to be in his 40s or 50s and had looked powerful and grand, just like a sect master should. Now, his face was covered in wrinkles, and it was blotchy. He looked to have deteriorated with age. He clenched the famous violet gold soul devouring staff without saying a word. Other than Chi Yuneo, there was also an icy faced elder in fiery red robes. The mark of Pill Valley was on his chest. But behind this mark was a ball of flames. That was a special mark in Pill Valley. It meant he came from the Flame Divine Palace and was one of Pill Valley's fighters. He was the Vice Palace Master of the Flame Divine Palace. Long Chen had caused such a ruckus this time that he had been sent to handle him. Other than those two, the others were also extremely powerful existences. But they were all silent. They were waiting for a certain person. It's already been seven days. Long Chen's definitely sensed something and has hidden himself. The Flame Divine Palace's Vice Palace Master suddenly opened his eyes. This trap had been Chi Yuneo's idea. After Long Chen had destroyed the Heaven Suppressing Magic Sect, Chi Yuneo had almost gone insane with fury. By the time he had recovered from that state, Long Chen had already started getting his revenge. With Dragonbone Evil Moon still in his hands, Chi Yuneo didn't dare to directly attack him. He didn't know where Long Chen would show up. After all these days, half the sects had been destroyed, but there were still half left. Who knew which one Long Chen would appear at? Most importantly, even if Chi Yuneo did run into Long Chen by accident, the latter wouldn't foolishly fight to the death against the former. Even if Chi Yuneo could defeat Long Chen, he would still get away with Evil Moon's protection. If he wanted to leave, then Chi Yuneo wouldn't be able to stop him. So Chi Yuneo had gone to Pill Valley to ask for their aid. The Vice Palace Master had even brought one of Pill Valley's special treasures just to make sure Long Chen couldn't escape. As long as Long Chen came, he would find it difficult to ever leave. To be even safer, they had invited other experts to help, making sure that this plan would go off without a hitch. The Seven Star Gate was now home to many powerful experts. This plan had been made by Chi Yuneo. At first, the Vice Palace Master hadn't said anything, but he felt extreme disdain toward it. What kind of garbage plan was this? As long as Long Chen wasn't an idiot, he wouldn't just jump right in after that blatant provocation. But he hadn't said anything and had simply allowed Chi Yuneo to continue with the plan. That was because the current Chi Yuneo was on the border of insanity. No one wanted to provoke a madman. After seven days of no news from Long Chen, the Vice Palace Master finally lost his patience. Isn't it all because of your fake righteousness? 
If you had simply let me capture the people of the Eastern Wastelands branch Zhuangshan Dao sect, Long Chen would be forced to appear. Qi Yuneo glared at the Vice Palace Master resentfully. As soon as he said this, everyone else's expressions changed. Qi Yuneo had truly gone insane. Whoever talked to him would be bitten like a mad dog. The Vice Palace Master's expression sank. Although flame cultivators were not on the same level as alchemists within Pill Valley, in the outside world, who would dare to be rude to Pill Valley? But seeing Chi Yuneo's scarlet eyes, he suppressed his fury. The current Chi Yuneo was the most terrifying. What was frightening wasn't his cultivation base, but that craziness combined with his sharp fangs. Chi Yuneo only had himself left, and he had nothing to cause himself any misjivings. No one could guess what he would do. Originally, Pill Valley hadn't even been planning on following through with Chi Yuneo's plan or even acknowledging him, but he had managed to threaten them with some confidential information, forcing them to send someone to cooperate with him. The Vice Palace Master had been warned by the higher ups not to provoke Chi Yuneo, as he was a madman. Still, he couldn't help coldly saying, that's not in accordance with the rules. Don't involve people who aren't part of the problem. Or are you planning on getting attacked by everyone else? The righteous path had the righteous path's rules. No matter how great the grievance, it was against the rules to involve a person's family. If the Zhuangshan Dao sect still existed and Qi Yuneo wanted to use it to threaten Long Chen, well that was one thing. However, the Zhuangshan Dao sect was gone. The branch sect in the eastern wasteland had absolutely nothing to do with what had happened with Long Chen now. Furthermore, the branch sect was so weak, it was completely unsuitable for Qi Yuneo to go target them. What rules? Did Long Chen follow the rules when he destroyed my heaven-suppressing magic sect? As I see it, Pill Valley is nothing more than a cowardly bully. Even when it came to the Zhuangshan Dao sect, you didn't dare to personally do anything, instead forcing us roared Qi Yuneo. Arrogance the Vice Flame Master became enraged. He shouted, Qi Yuneo. Do you think you can act without a care now? Do you believe that a single message from me is enough to guarantee that within three days, you will no longer exist in this world? The Vice Palace Master finally lost his patience and cut off Chi Yuneo's words. If he kept talking, he would expose Pill Valley's secrets. All the other Life Star experts nervously stood and retreated further away. The two of them were not people they could provoke. Nonsense. Isn't the fact that my heaven-suppressing magic sect declined to its current state also because of your pill valley? Chi Yuneo also stood, pointing the violet gold soul-devouring staff at the vice flame master, his hair flying through the air like a furious lion. The vice palace master took a deep breath and suppressed his rage. He coldly said, Tell me, what do you want? I don't want anything special at all. Having lost the heaven-suppressing magic sect, all I want is to kill that brat in the most painful way possible. I don't care what I have to do. Even if I have to sacrifice my life, I wouldn't mind if I could bring him down with me, said Chi Yuneo with a chilling killing intent. The heaven-suppressing magic sect had been famed as one of the three great heavenly sects. However, now its divine pool had been destroyed. In just a few days, all their minds and businesses had been plundered by mysterious experts. Clearly. This was the result of the bad luck of the heavens. The heaven-suppressing magic sect could no longer exist. Not only that, but the violet gold soul-devouring staff, which had been used to maintain the sect's karmic luck, had started to decline. It was like a large and healthy man was rapidly aging. It wouldn't be long before the violet gold soul-devouring staff's divine energy was completely exhausted. At that time, it would shatter. This was one of the laws of the heavenly deos, something not even divine items could resist. This was also one reason Chi Yuneo was so crazy. Once his divine item shattered, let alone getting revenge, he wouldn't even be qualified to challenge Long Chen. According to what the Violet Gold Soul Devouring Staff said, in one year, it would fall to the level of a quasi-divine item, and in three years, it would lose all its divine essence and vanish from this world. In other words, if Chi Yuneo couldn't kill Long Chen within a year, then it would be Long Chen killing him in the future. That was what both infuriated and terrified him, making him insane. His mind was on the verge of crumbling. 
so he didn't care about the methods. He just wanted Long Chen dead, but Pill Valley had blocked part of his plans, causing him to also hate Pill Valley. Do you think you could threaten Long Chen with this? The very next day after the battle in the eastern Xuan city, the Zhuangshan Dao sects branches in the eastern wasteland, western desert, southern sea, and northern source all disappeared. Their higher-ups and talented disciples have vanished, while the ordinary disciples were disbanded. They've long since protected them in anticipation. Do you think that you could be faster than the Bloodkill Hall? Sneered the Vice Palace Master, clearly contemptuous of Chi Yuneo's brains. Pill Valley was aware of everything within the continent. Such large movements couldn't possibly escape them. Who did it? Raged Chi Yuneo. You want revenge? All right, then I'll tell you. It was done by the Huai Insect. Go ahead. I wish you luck. If you succeed, every member of Pill Valley will arrange a celebration for you, said the Vice Palace Master disdainfully. Hearing that it was done by the Huai Insect, Chi Yuneo gave up. No matter how crazy he was, he knew he couldn't go against the Huai Insect. Right now, the only ones with connections to Long Chen are the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect and the Wine God Palace. I wish you luck taking them hostage, snorted the Vice Palace Master. Chi Yuneo also snorted and sat back down. He suddenly shouted at the Seven Star Gates Master, Hurry up and investigate if there's any news of Long Chen. If you can't find him, I'll destroy your Seven Star Gate. Just as the entire Eastern Xuan region was searching for Long Chen, a black robed man with a black saber on his shoulder and a black bamboo hat arrived in front of the Eastern Xuan region's pill tower. Chapter 1502 Those who block me will die. Translator. Born to be Long Chen looked at the empty gates of the pill tower, and a cold smile appeared on his face. Last time, the gates had been packed with people coming and going, but this time, it appeared cold and lonely. The old glory of it had been reversed. Now there were just a few dispirited guards in front of it. They didn't even notice Long Chen approaching from the distance. Long Chen was in a particularly good mood today. That was because Zheng Wenlong had sent him news that had lifted a weight from his shoulders. That news was that the Zhuangshan Dao sect was safe. The Zhuangshan Tower had brought away the Zhuangshan Dao sect. But due to some particular reasons, Li Xiangxuan was stuck inside and couldn't leave. However, he had used a secret art to transmit news to the Huai sect although Long Chen had felt that the chances that the Zhuangshan Dao sect had been destroyed weren't that high. This news still allowed him to relax. As long as the Zhuangshan Dao sect was fine, everything was all right. Hearing that the Zhuangshan Dao sect was fine, Long Chen immediately had Zheng Wenlong contact the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect, Wine God Palace, Heavenly Sword Gate, and the original Devil Race. He couldn't directly communicate with the original Devil Race as he didn't know where their base was in the eastern Xuan city, but he could pass information to them through their stronghold in the Grand Xia Ancient Nation. Long Chen had them not make any moves temporarily. He had enough power to protect himself, and so they could just watch for now. Although the Zhuangshan Dao sect was fine, he knew that the fine ones were just the elite disciples. There had to have been terrible casualties amongst the outer sect disciples and commoners. Against such a sudden attack, maintaining zero casualties was impossible. So even though the Zhuangshan Dao sect was fine, his revenge didn't stop. This time, Long Chen would make sure all those people lying in wait, like stalking predators watching their prey, would never be a problem again one way or another. Those people had been watching the Zhuangshan Dao sect the entire time, waiting for an opportunity. Last time, the Zhuangshan Dao sect had been reinforced by the Huai sect, Wine God Palace, Heavenly Sword Gate, and Heaven Splitting Battle sect that had intimidated their enemies. Now, he found that it was useless. Intimidation was only temporarily effective. If he wanted to make them stop their predatory stalking, he had to kill. He had to kill until they were completely terrified and didn't even dare to be his enemy. That was the only way he could be safe. As for the Seven Star Gates provocation, Long Chen scoffed at it. He wasn't stupid. Why would he jump into such an obvious trap? Furthermore, through the information he had gathered on his own, he had learned that Chi Yuneo had appeared and then vanished again. He guessed this matter to be 90% likely related to him. He wasn't afraid of Chi Yuneo himself, but
but his violet gold soul devouring staff was a half step divine item. In Evil Moon's current state, it couldn't beat it. Furthermore, the Seven Star Gate wasn't very powerful. Its divine spring was limited and not worth the risk. The greater the sect, the more divine spring they would have. And the opposite was true as well. The more a sect declined, the sparser their divine spring. Although the heaven suppressing magic sect had been one of the three great heavenly sects, its divine spring had been less abundant than the eastern branch of the Bloodkill Hall. Having plundered the divine springs of over 50 sects, the Divine Gate Star had finally reached its fully condensed state. But although it had been fully condensed, it still wasn't perfect. It had to go through the nine star transformations to be complete. Long Chen had long since given up on consuming the Divine Gate pills. Absorbing Divine Springs was millions of times more effective. At the time when the Divine Gate Star was fully condensed, the Feng Fu, Aliyah, Life Fate, and Enlightenment Palace Stars also entered a strange state, as if they were undergoing another transformation with the Divine Gate Star. Now Long Chen was unable to see through the Nine Star Hegemon body art even more. He could only let it do as it pleased. After learning of the Seven Star Gate's provocation, Long Chen had gone into seclusion, and today, he came out, once more heading to the Eastern Xuan City. After the last battle, many of the people within the Eastern Xuan City had fled far away. Although thanks to him, the commoners had escaped the tribulation, many people found that the Eastern Xuan region was in chaos now. The Eastern Xuan City was no longer safe, so it was better to find a more secluded place to wait this period out. Long Chen's revenge was shaking the entire Eastern Xuan region, and large battles were being fought every day. No one wanted to be caught up in a fight, as their lives were more important. Now Long Chen entered the city easily just by wearing a wide, black bamboo hat. No one was investigating the transportation formations, because no one believed that Long Chen would come back to the Eastern Xuan city. The word on the streets was that Long Chen had hidden himself since he was being hunted by all the Eastern Xuan region's experts. There were also rumors that he had already been killed. In any case, there was a mass of contradictory information. Long Chen slowly walked across the wide and empty street. Evil Moon was already on his shoulder as he walked toward the Pill Tower. Who's there? This is the Pill Tower. Long. Long Chen. The few guards that were standing there suddenly saw the black saber on his shoulder and turned pale. I won't make things hard on you. Everyone needs to eat, and you're simply doing your job. So there's no need to lose your life over this. Leave. This place will be razed to the ground today. Long Chen took off his hat, revealing his face. Having learned the Zhuanshan Dao sect still existed, he had an excellent mood. So he said a few extra words. These guards were all terrified. They all knew what he was about to do. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen. That's unacceptable. This is the pill tower. You can't go back after this. I reached that point a long time ago. Boom. Long Chen swung down Evil Moon. And the huge gates were blown apart. The guards fled for their lives. No longer daring to say anything else. Who dares to attack my pill tower? Are you provoking pill valley? Furious roars began to ring out from within as experts flew out. They had only just rushed out when they saw a black-robed man with a black saber on his shoulder slowly walk in through the dust. They all sucked in a cold gasp of air. Long Chen. Long Chen was recognizable by everyone now. Although the photographic jades had been broken by the heavenly tribulation, there were plenty of descriptions and pictures. These pill tower elders all turned pale when they saw him, and there was one in particular who was terrified. That person was their leader the new tower master. Last time, when Long Chen had been caught by the three divine items, he had been the first to go assist and call for other experts to help. Now seeing Long Chen come, he felt a chill run through his body, but he put on a tough act, shouting, Long Chen, what do you think you're doing? This is the pill tower, and if you dare to act wildly here, you'll regret it. What do you think I'm doing? Long Chen returned the question with a cold smile. Once again, he was walking step by step, slowly but at a steady pace. That appearance was just like when he had walked down the street of the Eastern Xuan City. Long Chen, I'd advise you not to misunderstand. Perhaps you were wrongly accused, but even if you were, you shouldn't go too far. 
If you have any grievances, you can just tell us. I can record them and send them to Pill Valley, and the Valley Master himself will come to right any wrongs. But if you act willfully, you'll be going further and further onto the evil path, and you won't be able to come back. In truth, you advised the Tower Master as he slowly retreated. Shut up, Long Chen frostily said. Do you think I'm an idiot? Aren't you the one clearest about whether or not I was wrongly accused? Now you have the face to spout such sanctimonious words at me? Could it be that Pill Valley doesn't focus on refining pills, but on refining the thickness of your skin? Let me put it simply, I've come for revenge. It was your Pill Valley that first schemed to destroy my Zhuanshan Dao sect and then summoned a pack of idiots to come and kill me. As I see it, you've been living too peacefully. Do you really think no one in this world dares to become enemies with Pill Valley? You what nonsense is that? Slander, shouted the Tower Master. The originally empty and deadly silent Eastern Xuan City's streets were now filled with experts. They were all watching and listening to their conversation. What is Long Chen doing? Does he really dare to take vengeance on the Pill Tower? All of them were shocked. When Long Chen went to get vengeance on those other sects, that was shocking enough but understandable. However, this was the Pill Tower, with Pill Valley behind it. That was an overlord existence within the Martial Heaven continent. This was just insane. Looks like someone on your level isn't qualified to touch those secrets. Then I won't waste words with you. Long Chen coldly smiled. In Li Xiangxuan's message that Zheng Wenlong had given him, Li Xiangxuan had clearly told Long Chen that Pill Valley, the corrupt path, the ancient races, the ancient family alliance, the heaven suppressing magic sect, and several other powerful existences had participated in the attack, and Long Chen had to be careful when it came to the Novaloon.com. However, looking at the expression of this new tower master, it seemed like he didn't know about that matter. So Long Chen couldn't be bothered to explain it. If you don't want to die, then scram. If you want to reincarnate, come quickly. Today, those who block me will die. Long Chen raised Evil Moon. A huge black crescent fang appeared in the air, slashing toward the main tower of the Pill Tower. Chapter 1503 Flipping the Pill Tower Translator Born to be a huge crescent fang slashed toward the Pill Tower's main tower. That was the most sacred place of the Pill Tower. Long Chen, you dare. The Tower Master let out a furious roar. Boom. He was correct. Long Chen truly did dare. His attack cleanly blew apart the main tower. The Pill Tower didn't have much of a protective formation, nor did it need one. In all these years, no one had dared to run rampant within the Pill Tower. So while the Pill Tower looked glorious, it wasn't particularly defensively strong. The tower crumbled. However, as the tower crumbled, two statues appeared in the air. They were the two gods that Pill Valley worshipped, Lord Brahma and Fallen Daynight. The two stone statues were less than a hundred meters tall and were originally located at the highest level of the tower, but now that it was destroyed, they simply floated in the air, emitting divine light. They were completely untouched, truly like two gods looking down on heaven and earth. That kind of divine might was irresistible. What dense divine light. These two statues are inheritance statues, and the masters of the statues are still alive. Evil Moon let out an excited shout. Without waiting for Long Chen to do anything, it transformed into a streak of black light that struck the two statues. Boom. Divine light exploded. The two statues exploded, but the divine light suddenly condensed into chains that bound Evil Moon. Evil Moon also hadn't expected to be met with such resistance. It struggled, Black Chi surging out of it to devour the chains. These chains were condensed of divine light and had no true form. In front of this divine might, Long Chen felt like the world was frozen, and it was difficult to even move a finger. He hadn't expected these two statues to possess such power. Evil Moon was actually caught. Evil Moon, are you alright? Asked Long Chen. Fuck. These two statues have their divine essence connected to other places as well. I'm too weak right now and can't absorb their energy at all. Roared Evil Moon furiously. It was doing its best to absorb this divine energy but it wasn't able to absorb the slightest bit, causing it to curse helplessly. Long Chen knew that this pill tower was just the tower of the Eastern Xuan region.
these were connected to the statues in the other regions and even the two statues within Pill Valley. It was natural that Evil Moon was struggling. If it's no good, let's go, said Long Chen. No, I have to keep trying. Meat that's found its way into my mouth can't get away. You busy yourself with your own work. Black Chi continued to surge out of Evil Moon. It refused to give up. Long Chen activated his divine ring, and with it present, he immediately felt much more relaxed. The world had previously felt frozen, but now it was like he was in the water. Although there was great resistance, he could still move. As for the experts on the side of the pill tower, they couldn't even move. They were all horrified. Long Chen punched the ground, revealing the divine spring below the tower. Nice. Seeing the divine spring, Long Chen was delighted. The pill tower's divine spring was dozens of times larger than the heaven-suppressing magic sects. It had also condensed into a pure gold color. Without another word, Long Chen waved his hand sucking it all away. Hmm, danger. Long Chen's expression suddenly changed as an intense feeling of crisis fell upon him. Evil Moon, focus on drawing the chains with me into the primal chaos space. Long Chen grabbed Evil Moon's hilt and began circulating the primal chaos bead, attempting to pull Evil Moon into the primal chaos space. Rumble. The sky turned dark. These chains seemed to be connected to heaven and earth and pulling Evil Moon into the primal chaos space was like pulling the world inside as well. Five-star battle armor, as Long Chen unleashed his full power, cracking sounds came from the void as if the world was shattering. We're close. Long Chen, just a bit more, shouted Evil Moon. Previously, it had been the chains binding it and not letting it escape, but now it was Evil Moon using its black chi to prevent the chains from slipping away. The world violently shuddered and the chains vanished along with Evil Moon. They were now in the primal chaos space. Time to go. Lightning wings appeared on Long Chen's back, and he shot toward the transportation formation. He easily knocked the guards unconscious and activated it. There were two platforms in the transportation formation. One was for coming, and one was for going. Long Chen had just vanished from one when a large group appeared on the other. This group belonged to the Pill Valley's vice palace master the heaven-suppressing magic sects Chi Yuneo, and the others. They had appeared just in time to see the space in the distant violently twisting. Long Chen, you're courting death. The vice palace master roared when he saw that the majestic and soaring pill tower had now vanished. Where is Long Chen? Demanded the vice palace master when he saw the tower master sitting on his butt with a miserable expression. His divine sense had spread throughout the eastern Xuan city but he hadn't found any traces of Long Chen. Their group had been waiting in the Seven Star Gate the entire time when the Vice Palace Master had received an urgent distress call. The Tower Master had secretly sent a message to the Vice Palace Master the instant that Long Chen had attacked, and he had also intentionally stalled for time. Long Chen didn't actually give him a chance to stall. He attacked and then immediately left. In the end, the Vice Palace Master was one step too late. He just left through the transportation formation, said the tower master despondently. He had just gotten this position and hadn't even completely figured out all the departments before such a thing happened. He felt himself to be too unlucky. You idiot. Why didn't you stop him? Raged the vice palace master. What was I supposed to use to stop him? He has such a terrifying divine item. I sent you the signal as soon as Long Chen arrived. Why did it take you so long to get here? Hmm. Check your status and then check mine. And then take note of your words. The responsibility for this matter falls entirely on you. The new tower master suddenly let out a furious roar and cursed the vice palace master. He was an alchemist. While the vice palace master was a flame cultivator. A tower master's status in Pill Valley was even higher than the flame divine palace's vice palace master's. Only by pushing all the responsibility onto the vice palace master could he lessen his punishment. After all, alchemists weren't fighters, so putting the blame on the vice palace master was quite effective. The vice palace master furiously slapped the tower master across the face. Caught off guard, the tower master was sent flying, blood spurting out of his face. Fuck your mother, I moved out as soon as I received the news. I used three transportation formations and less than ten breaths time to get here. You couldn't even stall him for that long. 
and you still dare to blame me. Do you believe me when I say I'll kill you right now? Roared the Vice Palace Master. As a flame cultivator, he was always looked down on by alchemists, and he had long since grown irritated by this. Now it was clearly the Tower Master who was useless, yet he tried to push the blame onto him. The Vice Palace Master had an urge to kill the Tower Master. Vice Palace Master, calm down. Long Chen just left through the transportation formation. If you chase him immediately, you might be able to catch up, said one of the Pill Tower's elders hastily. The Vice Palace Master took a deep breath and suppressed his rage. He shook his head. It's impossible. Long Chen isn't stupid enough to go directly to the next transportation node. He'll use his divine item to interrupt the formation midway, and no one will be able to find him. Although the Vice Palace Master was enraged, he was still cool-headed enough to think things through, let alone a divine item. Even an ancestral item had enough power to interrupt a transportation formation. A single transportation could go tens of millions of miles, or even billions. Who knew where he would end up? So there was no way they could catch up to him. The Tower Master was dizzy from being slapped and didn't dare to make a sound any longer. He really was afraid that the Vice Palace Master would kill him in his rage. He would settle this debt later. Now what should we do? Demanded Chi Yuneo. What else can we do? Of course we can't be like a certain idiot and simply lie in wait for him again. Sneered the Vice Palace Master. Clearly, he was finally truly enraged. And no longer cared that Chi Yuneo was a madman. That was because he felt like he was also going crazy. The Pill Tower had been destroyed along with its divine statues and divine spring. This matter was now so huge that both he and the Tower Master would be facing fallout for this. If it hadn't been for Chi Yuneo's stupid plan, perhaps things wouldn't have reached this point. Chi Yuneo merely snorted upon hearing the Vice Palace Master curse him. He was actually a bit happy inside. The Pill Tower's destruction made him feel a bit better. Long Chen has really done it this time. I'll immediately report this to the Valley Master. The rest of you stay here and wait for orders, said the Vice Palace Master, vanishing from sight. Chapter 1504 First Star Transformation Translator Born to be Black Chi suddenly exploded out of the sky, and a figure slowly surfaced from within it. It was Long Chen. The Vice Palace Master was correct. Long Chen had only gone through half of the transportation before leaving. That required enough power to withstand the spatial tearing, and even soul transformation experts would require an ancestral item to protect them in order to do so. However, this was simple for Long Chen. Even without Evil Moon, Long Chen could use his brute strength to do the same thing. He looked around. He was in a desolate mountain range. Thus, he took out a map Jung Wenlong had given him. It was a jade tablet, and there was a small speck of light with his general location. That's about where I thought I'd end up. I'm far away enough. Time to digest my gains. Long Chen found a secluded place within the mountain range. He looked inside the primal chaos space. He saw divine chains floating in the air, motionless. Evil Moon was also floating in the air, and Black Chi had spread out of it, enveloping the divine chains. Long Chen clearly sensed Evil Moon greedily devouring the divine energy within the chains. Evil Moon, what are these chains? They clearly aren't divine items. So how could they have divine essence? Asked Long Chen. He didn't know whether or not it was because having such a feast had improved Evil Moon's mood, but it actually gave him a detailed explanation. This so-called divine energy was related to gods, and this energy was above all other energy. When cultivators reached the peak, they would ascend to become immortals or gods. But before that, they would have already touched upon the air of immortals and gods. For example, life star experts could possess the slightest immortal aura. But that kind of aura was truly just an aura and was not the true power of immortals or gods. It could not be used to attack others, nor could it be used to protect themselves. However, it was this slightest aura that allowed them to use quasi-divine items. Quasi-divine items were the result of ascenders leaving behind weapons with the slightest trace of divine energy. That was what gave them their divine nature and such high intelligence. However, quasi-divine items were normally just some protective tools left behind by an ascender for their descendants. They weren't their true wealth. People were all selfish. 
If an ascender was willing to part with part of their divine soul and divine blood to empower a weapon, such an item would not be a quasi-divine item but a half-step divine item. However, that would cause their power to drop. Ascending was not as simple as simply wanting to ascend. It involved tribulation. Ascension and anything related to it only existed in stories. After the great battle of the immortal era, there were no confirmed cases of people passing the ascension tribulation. It wasn't that their cultivation bases weren't high enough, but that people who reached that realm didn't even go through their tribulation, because ever since the immortal war, those who underwent the final tribulation were all turned to dust beneath the divine lightning. As for after the last dark era, let alone someone attempting the tribulation, there weren't even any rumors of people who managed to cultivate to that level. So before coming into contact with Evil Moon, Long Chen hadn't even known that divine items were classified into different grades. Only at this time did Long Chen learn that the divine pool had the effect of nourishing divine items. But not every sect was qualified to possess divine items. Many sects could only use ancestral items. The divine energy within divine items could be linked to a sect's karmic luck, their heaven and earth divine pool. This so-called maintaining karmic luck was mutually beneficial. The divine item protected the sect, whose divine pool nourished the divine item. The more the sect flourished, the greater its divine pool grew. Like rolling a snowball, they continued to grow stronger. That was one case, but another case was for a divine item to gather faith energy. When he heard about gathering faith energy, Long Chen was startled. He seemed to have heard of such a thing before. Weren't only true gods capable of condensing faith energy? According to what you're saying, Lord Brahma and Fallen Danite are still alive, asked Long Chen. Obviously, as for that statue of the killing god that you destroyed, he is also alive. You haven't reached the level, so you don't understand. Although these heaven and earth divine springs all look the same to you, they all have an intrinsic difference. All divine springs gather faith energy, but ordinary sects simply use that faith energy to support their karmic luck. As for Pill Valley and the Blood Kill Hall, they worship true gods, and their faith energy is offered to their gods. So not only do they condense the divine spring, but they also condense divine energy within their statues, said Evil Moon. Then are the gods also on the Martial Heaven continent that would be impossible. A low-level place like the Martial Heaven continent cannot contain gods. They are on another side. While this is just one place they gather faith energy. Your primal chaos space is very strange. Once this divine energy entered, it was isolated from the outside world, allowing me to absorb it easily. However, you should be careful. These gods can bestow their divine energy to their believers through the planar barriers. I'm still in a weak state and wouldn't be able to block such power, warned Evil Moon. Long Chen suddenly thought of Pill Valley's master, Yu Ziaoyan. He had used some kind of mysterious energy to kill that Aldevil monster. Now Long Chen connected this divine energy to that. All right, I'm going to properly digest this energy. This is a big gain, said Evil Moon. Long Chen also decided to be quieter for the next period. He knew that he had truly provoked a scourge. Pill Valley was now completely infuriated. However, he wasn't afraid. Since Pill Valley had participated in the scheme to destroy the Zhuanshan Dao sect, he had to get his vengeance. He definitely wouldn't retreat just because they were Pill Valley. That would be contrary to the essence of the Nine Star Hegemon body art. For some unknown reason, a figure with kind eyes suddenly appeared in Long Chen's mind. She was the Pill Fairy. According to reason, Pill Valley's radical faction should have been suppressed, and they should have stopped interfering in the matters of other sects. Could it be that the radical faction had somehow recovered? When he thought of the pill fairy, he also thought of that crying girl, Wan Ching. He didn't know how far her alchemy arts had progressed through the pill fairy's pointers. The message that Li Xiangxuan had sent to him through the Huaian sect was extremely short, as well as vague. He only said that Pill Valley had participated in the attack and for Long Chen to be careful. Long Chen felt that the Martial Heaven Continent's shadow was also present, and yet, Li Xiangxuan hadn't even mentioned them. Could it be that the Xuan Master still has some hope for the Martial Heaven Alliance? Wondered Long Chen. According to Long Chen's original plans, after destroying the Pill Tower, 
He was going to go to the Martial Heaven continent for revenge. That damn alliance was definitely corrupt, and he was planning on tidying it up. However, for Li Xiangxuan to not mention the Martial Heaven continent implied that he had some other plans for it. Long Chen decided to not go attack them temporarily. Right now, he needed to calm down for a while. Having destroyed the Pill Tower, Pill Valley definitely wasn't going to let him off. They would flip over every stone in the eastern Xuan region to find him. For now, he should lie low. Suddenly, the Divine Gate star in his mind sea shook. At the same time, his hands and feet also trembled. Long Chen hastily looked within himself to see that the Feng Fu, Aliath, Life Star, Enlightenment Palace, and Divine Gate stars were all blazing with divine light. They there collectively going through the nine star transformations. Long Chen almost couldn't believe his eyes. Having absorbed the Pill Tower's divine spring, the Divine Gate Star had reached the first of the nine star transformations, and the other four stars had entered the same state as well. It seems the fifth star is a dividing line. It transforms the other four stars with it, guessed Long Chen. The five stars slowly dimmed once more and a faint halo of primal chaos revolved around them. Long Chen felt endless energy surging through his body. This energy went through his 108,000 acupuncture points and concentrated on the 108,000 stars within them. They formed a cycle, with endless energy circulating. Long Chen wasn't intentionally doing this. He simply allowed them to circulate on their own, and he felt these 108,000 stars form a perfect cycle. They had formed their own cosmos containing all things. However, this cosmos was still in an embryonic form and not fully formed. As the five stars revolved, endless energy danced within him. Long Chen felt incomparably relaxed, as if all his pores were singing. Just at this moment, as his energy surged throughout his body, the primal chaos space activated on its own. The withered world trees began to pulse with life once more. This is... Long Chen was given a pleasant surprise. After reaching the first star transformation, the primal chaos space went through a large transformation of its own. The death of the world trees was a loss of one of his strongest trump cards. That was why he had been forced to be careful during this time. Now, the world trees were recovering 10,000 times faster than they had been before and without any magical beast corpses. Before. Just trying to grow the sprouts of the world trees was so slow that the progress wasn't even visible with the naked eye. However, now the world trees were recovering at a visible rate. He expected that it wouldn't take that long for them to fully recover. Most importantly, he wouldn't have to gather so many corpses in the future. The world trees were still a bit small and quite a ways from fully grown. Once they were fully grown, he would practically be unkillable. After relishing in this pleasant surprise, Long Chen calmed himself down and focused on circulating the Divine Gate Star to absorb the Divine Spring from the Pill Tower. Chapter 1505 8th Star Transformation Translator Born to be Boom Seven days later, Long Chen's body shook, the centers of his feet and hands, as well as the space between his forehead, were blazing like suns. A terrifying pressure shook the mountain range. A wave of sand and pebbles tumbled down the mountains. Countless birds and beasts were startled and fled for their lives. As expected of Pill Valley, this golden divine spring was amazing. It brought me all the way to the 8th star transformation. Just one step from completion Long Chen had an ecstatic expression. The energy within the Pill Tower's divine spring had been pure and vast, and had allowed all his stars to undergo transformations. He managed to reach the 8th transformation as it ran out of energy. Although he had gone through the nine star transformations before, this time was different. It took a huge amount of energy as all five stars were undergoing transformations at the same time. He felt his body and the 108,000 stars transforming along with them as well. The change in the 108,000 stars was very strange. They weren't growing larger or smaller, but he felt the flow of energy change. That wasn't something he could control. As his five stars circulated, the energy from his four chi seas was drawn out and thrown into a cycle through the 108,000 stars. This cycle brought forth endless energy. This power could be used to unleash terrifying power in battle, or it could be used to nourish the life within the primal chaos space. After seven days, 
the withered world trees had recovered the majority of their vitality and were once more a large source of life energy for Long Chen's healing. Evil Moon, how's your state? asked Long Chen. Evil Moon had finished absorbing the divine energy, and its black body contained a slight luster to it now. A portion of its murderous aura had also been pulled in. Excellent. This divine energy was very pure. That fallen Danite and Lord Brahma are definitely extremely terrifying existences. The faith energy from their believers is extremely beneficial to me, said Evil Moon. Its voice was a bit excited, and it was very satisfied. Then how much have you recovered? 30%, asked Long Chen. The stronger Evil Moon was, the more things he could do. 30%? Are you dreaming? At most, I've recovered 5%. If I managed to recover 10%, I'd be suppressed by the Sovereign Seal. Don't tell me you didn't know, said Evil Moon irritably. Oh, I, I forgot because I was too excited Long Chen forced a smile. In truth, Long Chen really hadn't known about this. Sovereign Yun Shang hadn't told him much about a seal or Evil Moon. He had only put on an act that he knew all about it in order to trick Evil Moon. Now he had almost exposed himself. It seemed he would have to be more careful in the future to avoid drawing Evil Moon's suspicions. If he let Evil Moon learn that he had been tricking it this entire time, it might stop cooperating with him in the future. After all, Evil Moon was a descendant of the true dragons. It might be fierce and sinister but it still had the inherent pride of the dragon race. 5%, repeated Long Chen, a bit disappointed. Then would you be able to fight on par with the half-step divine item? It's not whether or not I would be able to. The problem is you. I don't have to fear half-step divine items, but you aren't able to give me the slightest bit of energy. How am I supposed to fight against them? You haven't even reached the life star realm and don't have the slightest trace of divine energy. As for me, under my seal, the power I can unleash is very limited, so I would be barely able to hold out against a half-step divine item. At best, I would be able to bring you away, said Evil Moon. Really? What if I were to undo the sovereign seal right now? Would you be able to kill half-step divine items then? Asked Long Chen. What are you going to undo the seal with? Without having reached the life star realm. You aren't able to activate the divine might of the Sovereign Seal. Did Yun Shang tell you nothing? Evil Moon's voice suddenly turned cold. Nonsense. I was just trying to make a comparison. How could I not know something so obvious? I just don't know how much power you would have after your seal is undone. If you weren't even able to handle half-step divine items, why would I bother undoing your seal? Sneered Long Chen. He couldn't help feeling guilty inside. There were many things that he had learned from Evil Moon. If Evil Moon realized the truth, it would be troublesome. Evil Moon, there's something I've always wanted to ask you. What is your soul essence supposed to do? Sovereign Yun Shang said that he left your soul essence to me, but it was taken by Len Yuian. Back then, I didn't have a chance to ask her about it. Can you explain what's the use of it? Sovereign Yun Shang didn't tell me anything about it, said Long Chen. Changing the subject. Fuck that Yun Shang Evil Moon suddenly broke into curses. Why are you cursing him? Demanded Long Chen. Long Chen was full of gratitude toward Sovereign Yun Shang, and he had been completely won over by his style. So Long Chen was naturally angry that Evil Moon would curse his benefactor. How could I not curse him? That bastard. Your human race really is trash. That Yun Shang was a sovereign. Someone who stood at the peak of this world. And after defeating me, he should have simply killed me. Why did he have to humiliate me? Roared Evil Moon. Humiliate you. Long Chen was startled. According to Sovereign Yun Shang's style, he would disdain doing such a thing. After cutting off my head, he extracted my soul and used my skull to reforge my weapon. How is refining me into a weapon not a humiliation? Roared Evil Moon. Wait, Evil Moon is your weapon? Or is it your skull? Asked Long Chen. Evil Moon was originally my weapon, but that bastard refined my soul and bone into it, turning me into this state. That fucking fucker. Evil Moon let out a string of curses to the point that Long Chen didn't even understand it toward the end, but he understood the main point. After refining Evil Moon into its current state, Sovereign Yun Shang had called it Dragonbone Evil Moon. As for Evil Moon, it called itself Evil Moon, 
removing the dragonbone part. It also had Long Chen call it Evil Moon. It seemed the dragonbone part was an insult to it. It was natural for Evil Moon to feel that way. For a dragon to be refined into a weapons item spirit was definitely hard to accept. Long Chen suddenly recalled the claw he had seen smashing through the sky when he had used the Nine Star Hegemon body art to peer back into time in the ancient battlefield of the spirit world. Who asked you to act like such a badass and attack the spirit world out of nowhere? Your claw came out of the sky, shaking everyone. You killed so many of Sovereign Yun Chang's followers, so he'd naturally hate you. He probably did this as retribution what bullshit. A man can be killed but not humiliated, roared Evil Moon. All right, all right, I won't argue with you over this. Plus, you're not a man. Can you tell me about your soul essence? If I were to get it back for you, how much stronger would you get? Asked Long Chen. In truth, Long Chen had had another reason for bringing that up. He had now confirmed that the owner of that claw he had seen had been Evil Moon. That was a shocking discovery. If he allowed Evil Moon to recover to its peak, wouldn't he be able to dominate the martial heaven continent? That was my crystal core. But my soul was already extracted out of it. And my soul essence is now useless. All because of that goodman bastard. I'm not just a weapon. Evil Moon suddenly let out a hysterical roar. Its delight at having recovered to 5% completely vanished. Replaced with hatred. Get over it. So what if you're a weapon? Can't a weapon's name also shake the ears of anyone who hears it? If you follow me, I guarantee your name will shake the entire Martial Heaven continent, and anyone who hears it will be terrified comforted Long Chen. Evil Moon interrupted his enticement, cursing. Stop fucking bragging, you're just a Jade Core brat. Without me, you'd have died countless times over. Now, aren't you just a hiding mouse? TCH, I'm not talking to you anymore. I need to rest, so don't disturb me. Evil Moon went completely silent after saying that. It seemed it had received quite the blow. Long Chen was a bit dumbfounded. He had originally just wanted to change the subject. He hadn't expected to have raised such a sore point. It seemed that this was Evil Moon's reverse scale and Long Chen couldn't mention it again. Or it would turn hostile. If it did refuse to cooperate with him, he wouldn't be able to fight against divine items. However, he was very curious about that soul essence. Sovereign Yun Chang had intentionally left it for him. So there had to be some deeper meaning behind it. But it had been taken by Len Yuian. And Evil Moon didn't want to talk about it. Long Chen had plenty of questions but no answers. Well, whatever. Only the ninth star transformation remains. After the ninth transformation, I'll be able to bring out the complete five star battle armor and my power will definitely rise to a new level. I should first finish the ninth transformation. But where am I supposed to find such a huge divine spring? Based on how much energy the latter transformations have been requiring. Maybe not even all the sects left on the list would have enough divine spring for me to reach the ninth star transformation. Plus that's too dangerous. I need high quality, not quantity. Right. Sha Guangyan and Pen Wancheng's families have extremely ancient histories. Their families are definitely rich. Long Chen suddenly thought of the two of them. One was from a domineering ancient family, while one was from an elite ancient race. Empyreans were born from karmic luck, so their families were definitely big fish. Revenge is a dish best served cold, but I like eating all my dishes while they're hot. Let's keep them coming. Long Chen laughed sinisterly and vanished from the mountain range. Chapter 1506 Eastern Madman and Western Wretch Translator Born to be the Pill Tower's destruction shook the Eastern Xuan region and even the Central Plains as a whole. Long Chen's name had spread from the Eastern Xuan region throughout the Martial Heaven continent. Pill Valley's fury erupted. They issued the highest level arrest order, alerting all powers connected to them to hunt down Long Chen. The Righteous Path the corrupt path, the ancient races, the ancient family alliance, they all responded instantly. Countless powerful existences were mobilized. This time, Long Chen had truly provoked a huge calamity. Destroying the Pill Tower was challenging the giant Pill Valley. Experts from every area were looking for him. The allure of forming a good relationship with Pill Valley was too strong. Furthermore, Pill Valley had promised a favor to whoever could kill Long Chen. 
A favor from Pill Valley was incredibly important. Even if it was a third-rate sect that killed Long Chen, this favor would lead them to directly become a supreme sect as long as Pill Valley didn't fall. No one would dare to provoke them. Furthermore, there was also the fact that Long Chen had priceless treasures in his hands. Both the Black Saber and the Pot were treasures. However, that Black Saber was a blade of evil. Anyone who obtained it had to destroy it immediately, and it could not be allowed to be kept. So no one dared to care about the Black Saber, but the Pot was a different story. There were also suspicions that Long Chen had another treasure that could raise the rank of Celestials. Although those suspicions had been quelled by the Wine God Palace, there were still quite a few people who believed it and felt like Long Chen had to have many secrets. Pill Valley had announced that anyone who killed Long Chen would get to keep all his treasures other than the Black Saber. If anyone tried to snatch those treasures away, they would become enemies with Pill Valley. With such a promise from Pill Valley, countless powerful experts as well as many old monsters that had been slumbering for many years appeared. Searching for Long Chen, the eastern Xuan city was originally quiet and calm, but during these days, it became lively as experts came from every direction. Some of these people were supreme experts. They included rank 9 celestials at the soul transformation realm, as well as old monsters at the life star realm. These people were all targeting Long Chen and were confident in their power. Of course, those people were just a small portion. 99% of the people rushing over had just come to watch the fun Novaloon.com they wanted to see the main street of Eastern Xuan City. Long Chen had walked down this street with no one able to stop him. They also wanted to see the battlefield outside the city, as well as the destroyed Pill Tower, the main street of the Eastern Xuan City, the battlefield outside, and the ruins of the Pill Tower had instantly become popular tourist spots. Although the photographic jades from the battle back then had been destroyed, some talented artists had drawn the scenes of Long Chen walking along the path alone, his annihilation of the Bloodkill Hall, his tribulation with three Empyreans, and more. They weren't cheap, but they were constantly sold out. Countless young men and women were trying to buy them. Long Chen had become a god in their eyes. His courage and domineeringness, as well as his will to not submit to powerful enemies had profoundly affected them. Young people were naturally rebellious, and the sight of Long Chen going against his circumstances, piercing a way straight through the entire eastern Xuan city on his own without anyone being able to stop him, and his unyielding fighting had completely won them over. People didn't know whether to laugh or cry, but quite a few of these youngsters were wearing black robes with a black saber on their backs. Those black sabers were quite similar to Long Chen's Evil Moon. These were Long Chen's worshippers. If one were to glorify it, they were dressing themselves as a sign of respect to their hero. But in reality, they were just doing it to draw attention. When people first saw them, they would always be given a fright, thinking that Long Chen had appeared. They had dressed themselves up to be just like Long Chen, but their cultivation bases exposed their status. These people were too young and the majority were only at the Xianchen realm. These people never tired of it, and they swaggered down the streets, drawing countless shocked looks. However, sometimes this came with a price. Several Jade Corps fellows did the same and were beaten to death. Only once they were dead did people realize that they weren't Long Chen. After a few of those cases, Jade Corps experts stopped trying to dress up like Long Chen. The only exceptions were those who had gotten tired of life. Within a certain packed restaurant, there were all kinds of people, but young people made up 80 to 90 percent of them. There were men and women, and they had all come here thanks to the fame Long Chen had brought. Long Chen's the man of the moment in the eastern Xuan region. He's got enemies all over, with all of them shouting for his death. He's just like a certain person from my western Xuan region. Two men were sharing a table beside a window in this restaurant. The middle-aged scholar swirled his wine as he spoke to a slender man in front of him. This man's eyes were bright, and there was a scorpion tattoo on his arm. He looked a bit dark. The slender man was startled. He asked, I've always been in the eastern Xuan region, and I don't know much about the other regions. Is there really someone who can stand shoulder to shoulder with Long Chen in the western Xuan region? The two of them were life star experts and were originally total strangers. 
but because there were too many people in the restaurant, they ended up sharing a table. As a result, after chatting a bit, they found their characters meshed quite well and began to talk more. The middle-aged scholar came from the western Xuan region and had come to watch the fun. In truth, he was the master of a first-rate sect he had come purely out of curiosity. It had to be known that going to different regions cost a lot. The price for the transportation formations wasn't something an ordinary cultivator could pay for. Furthermore, there were many dangerous places that required flying boats to travel through. Normal people would never survive the trip. The middle-aged scholar smiled. You should know that the Central Plains is filled with rising geniuses now. But most people are more low-key and not as crazy as Long Chen. The Western Xuan region also has countless monstrous geniuses shaking the region. But their light is all drowned out because of one person. After surveying the Central Plains as a whole, only those two fellows in the Eastern Xuan region and Western Xuan region are standing out in particular. Now the two of them even have nicknames. What nicknames? He. Perhaps they should be called titles. In the Eastern Xuan region, Long Chen has been given the title of the Eastern Madman. The Slender Man nodded. That's a good name. Long Chen really is a madman. I don't think anyone else has ever been as crazy as him. Then what about that fellow from the Western Xuan region? The middle-aged scholar laughed mischievously. He said, he's called the Western Wretch. What the slender man didn't comprehend. The middle-aged scholar filled their cups with wine and raised his cup to the slender man. His name is Mo Nian. Rumor is that he's an old acquaintance of Long Chen. He truly is an odd one. He just broke through the soul transformation realm. But his battle power is shocking. He was able to fight against the Empyreans without losing. With a divine bow, he dominates all his enemies. But the strange thing is that he's set on being enemies with the Western Xuan region's ancient family alliance. He's being hunted down by them constantly. Long Chen is called the Eastern Madman because he's too crazy. While Mo Nian is called the Western Wretch because he's too wretched. What do you mean by wretched? What did he do? The slender man raised his cup and touched it to the middle-aged scholar's cup. Now he was curious. It's unknown whether Mo Nian is doing it as revenge or for some other reason. But he spends every day digging up the ancestral graves of the ancient families. Each time, he'll flip through their tombs. No one knows what he's doing. He's gravirabing? That's too immoral, isn't it? All sects or large family powers offered worship to their ancestors. Their ancestors' remains were all properly cared for. This was also a kind of inheritance, as well as a kind of acknowledgement and gratitude toward their ancestors' accomplishments. It was so their descendants wouldn't forget what they had done for them. Even in the mortal world, gravirabing was extremely immoral. No one would do it. How could a peak genius like Mo Nian do such a thing? Exactly. Long Chen destroys a sect a day, while Mo Nian robs a tomb a day. So the names of the Eastern Madman and Western Wretch have spread throughout the Central Plains, said the middle-aged scholar. Is that Mo Nian really so powerful? The entire ancient family alliance of the Western Xuan region is unable to handle him. The middle-aged scholar's voice dropped. He whispered, you don't know this, but Mo Nian received an ancestral inheritance. As for the details, all you have to do is read the short stories at... The details of what happened to Mo Nian during his ancestral inheritance are all there. People aren't able to read about it without going there. The slender man was startled. He said, yes, I understand what I have to do. Just as the two of them were conversing, rumbling rang out from the sky. A golden battle carriage could be seen, pulled by an ancient golden flying horse. Long Chen, come out and fight if you dare. A clear shout rang throughout the eastern Xuan city drowning out the voices of the two people drinking wine. A long-haired man wearing blood-colored robes walked out of the carriage. He also held a blood-colored spear. He stood in the air, looking down on the entire city. There is a short little segment here based on wordplay which doesn't make sense in English so it's been moved to this footnote. The word for wretch, sword, and arrow all sound the same. Here's the segment with some italics. The middle-aged man laughed mischievously. He said, He's called the Western Wretch. The Western Sword? Just hearing that I can tell he's a terrifying sword cultivator, said the slender man. The middle-aged scholar laughed. He, you're wrong. Although he uses arrows, 
The wretch I'm talking about is the wretch as in a wretched man. What the slender man didn't comprehend. This is actually a plug for the author's WeChat account. Chapter 1507 Mysterious Girl Translator Born to be his voice was like a thunderous drum that shook the eastern Xuan city, instantly breaking its silence. That's already the third person. People shook their heads. During these days, many experts ran over here and declared that they were challenging Long Chen. But those people were all ignored. Not even rank 9 celestials were qualified to challenge Long Chen. However, this man with the red robes had the power of the heavenly deos revolving around him. The power that made all celestials feel suppressed. He was an Empyrean. In just a few days, it was unknown how many experts had come out to say that they were challenging Long Chen. But all rank 9 celestials were simply ignored. And they later stopped. Many people directly cursed them and told them not to cause a ruckus just because they wanted to gain the fame of challenging Long Chen. If Long Chen really was here, they would be instantly killed in one blow. They only dared to shout because they knew he wouldn't appear. Before this, there had also been two other powerful Empyreans that had appeared and challenged Long Chen to a fight. They knew that this news would quickly spread through the eastern Xuan region, and Long Chen would also hear it. However, their challenges were never answered. There wasn't the slightest news from Long Chen. Now another powerful expert had appeared. All the Eastern Xuan region's experts were searching for Long Chen, and everything boded ill for him. Long Chen, if you're a man, you'll come out and fight me. Don't hide like a turtle in its shell, shouted the man with the red robes. Long Chen's a coward. He won't dare to come out to face any challenges. Shouting over there is meaningless a cold voice rang out from the top floor of a restaurant. That restaurant was extremely luxurious, and the top floor only had one table with one person. This person was very tall and muscular. He had a sword on his back just as tall as he was. He gave off immense pressure just by sitting there. He didn't even look at the new challenger, but all the people in the city knew that he was the first Empyrean who had come to the city to challenge Long Chen. He had stayed on the highest floor of the restaurant the entire time, and no one had dared to get close to him. Just shouting once is enough. If you shout more, it'll irritate others. If you have the power, then go pull Long Chen out instead of shouting here. A woman was sitting in the air on top of another tall building. Her face was covered with a black veil, but her voice was arrogant and icy. She was also an Empyrean, but most shocking of all was her viciousness. Several rank 9 celestials had come shouting to challenge Long Chen after she had arrived, and they had been slain by her. Her reason was that she was testing whether or not they were qualified to challenge Long Chen. Of course, the results of her test were disappointing. They weren't qualified and were unable to receive a single attack from her. The man in the red robes looked at the two of them coldly and smiled. That's all right. When the time comes, I'll be able to experience your skills. Up to you, whatever. The large man and woman only gave an indifferent, brief reply. They clearly didn't care about this man. I've taken a liking to this building. The people inside should scram if they don't want to die. The red robed man pointed his spear at an extremely tall building. There were originally two buildings that were the tallest within the eastern Xuan city, but one had been destroyed by Long Chen, so the remaining one had become the absolute tallest. This red-robed man was extremely arrogant and wanted to occupy the highest place to symbolize his position. As soon as he said this, the man with the sword on his back suddenly sneered. If you dare to come in, I guarantee that let alone challenging Long Chen, you will never see him in your life. At this moment, an indifferent voice came from the highest level of the building. Zheng Wenlong appeared in front of it. Idiot. Are your eyes blind? That's the Huaian sect's stronghold in the eastern Xuan region. You actually wanted the people in there to scram or die? Haha, <laughs> admirable, sneered the large man. The red-robed man's expression immediately became extremely unsightly. His attempt at showing off ended up being a slap in his own face. If he had to blame someone, he could only blame himself for being so arrogant that he didn't even look at the mark on the building. The main gates weren't on this side. So he had actually said something so bold. You can't put it like that. The pill tower was originally as tall as the Huaian sect's stronghold. Long Chen destroyed the pill tower. 
So isn't he trying to be a second Long Chen by destroying the Huai insect stronghold? I really do want to see that. I hope you won't disappoint me, said the veiled woman expectantly, but the ridicule in her voice could not be more obvious. All the eastern Xuan city's people looked at the red-robed man with odd expressions. They saw that his originally white face was blushing fiercely. Was this a joke? It had to be known that the building with the strongest defensive power within the entire city was this building. It was different from the Pill Tower. The Pill Tower had Pill Valley behind it and no one dared to touch them. But the Huai insect was a business, and businessmen had to display their wealth. These were the wealth god's instructions. This was the business Dao. Businessmen had to be able to show that they had enough wealth so that others would feel they could trust them safely. This building not only had a divine item within it, but there was also a formation composed of millions of divine runes. It was capable of both offense and defense. Anyone who dared to attack it would simply be courting death. This was also why Zheng Wenlong hadn't panicked when Yi King Kuang had activated his tribulation back then. It was because he had the confidence to block the tribulation lightning, but the price would have been very high. However, if this red-robed man were to attack, Zheng Wenlong definitely wouldn't mind activating the formation to kill him instantly. The red-robed man didn't know what to do. He had slapped himself viciously in the face in front of countless experts, but he really didn't dare to attack Zheng Wenlong. Sorry, can you let us through? Just as everyone was looking at the red-robed man with mocking smiles, a slightly immature voice rang out. At some unknown point, a new group of people had appeared on the streets. There were a total of seven of them. The one at the front was a girl covered in a cloak that blocked most of her face. It only revealed her nose and her mouth. She wasn't tall and was a bit slim. Her skin was pure like jade. She had been the one to speak, and her voice was even a bit melodic. It was pleasant to listen to. Behind her was a large, handsome man with long hair. He didn't say a word as he followed her. There were also five other men behind him in tight black robes, and none of them were releasing any aura. They looked like ordinary people. The girl had been walking down the street when she ended up blocked by the people who had come out to watch the spectacle. So she asked them to let her through. Quite a few people felt these people to be strange. There were plenty of people who wore black robes, but very few who wore such tight robes. They, when people probed their cultivation basis, their expressions instantly changed. Their assassins from the blood kill hall, startled cries rang out. These people's auras were concealed, but when people attempted to probe them, they sensed ice cold killing intent. The only ones capable of such a thing were the blood kill hall's assassins. After guessing their identity, Everyone hastily opened up a path like they were fleeing from a demon. The Blood Kill Hall's assassins were reapers of life, and very few people ever got to see their true faces. Those who saw them died. They never walked out in the sunlight, nor did they ever expose themselves in front of others. And yet, today, they had openly appeared here. They felt that was against the Blood Kill Hall's assassination Dao. The atmosphere became extremely strange. Thank you. The girl continued onward, and the men behind her silently followed. The entire city was silent, all looking at this strange group. Why don't we go faster and go directly to the battlefield outside the city? Probed the handsome man behind the girl. He felt a bit unnatural being stared at by so many people. No, he walked this road from start to end. I want to experience the same thing. The girl shook her head and continued walking forward, neither slowly nor quickly. The handsome man's expression became a bit helpless as he obediently followed. Everyone was secretly guessing who this mysterious girl was. Zheng Wenlong's pupils shrank. His expression completely changed. Could it be that legendary existence? If it is, Long Chen's in danger. The red-robed man was still floating in the air, not knowing whether he should leave or not. But now, everyone was focused on that girl, and he was completely disregarded. That infuriated him. This girl's arrival had actually helped him escape his embarrassing position, but he didn't feel any gratitude. Instead, he felt fury. Are the Blood Kill Hall shameful people not afraid of being slaughtered once they appear out in the open? Shouted the red robed man disdainfully. Chapter 1508 Blood Kill 1 Translator Born to be everyone's hearts shook as soon as the red robed man finished speaking. 
Just what origin did he have to dare to go against the Bloodkill Hall? It had to be known that the Bloodkill Hall was the most difficult force to deal with within the entire Martial Heaven continent. Some people would even prefer to offend Pill Valley than offend them. That was because the Bloodkill Hall was a group of death gods. They were incredibly vicious, and when their vengeance came, it signified a sect would be slaughtered to the point that no life remained. As for offending Pill Valley, it would usually just cause a sect to decline until it disbanded. At least, they would stay alive. Jung Wenlong shook his head when he heard the red-robed man open his mouth. An elder beside him sighed. The Dream Blood Spirit Creek spent all their resources to raise an idiot like this. Both the elder and Jung Wenlong were aware of this red-robed man's origin. The Dream Blood Spirit Creek was an extremely ancient sect that was almost completely cut off from the rest of the world. It was just like the Titan sect it had gone into hiding and endured for a long time before finally giving birth to an Empyrean. They wanted to make a resounding move that would shake the world and show their power. The Wealth God's prophecy predicted that the Martial Heaven continent would enter an era of rising geniuses. Could that era have come? The elder beside Jung Wenlong looked at the red-robed man, the sword-wielding man, and the veiled woman, as well as the girl walking on the street. Jung Wenlong shook his head. The era still hasn't come yet. This is just a kind of omen. According to the Wealth God, when the geniuses rise and thousands of powers are revived, a leader must be born. The true great era will be able to give rise to a sovereign. As for these Empyreans, they're a long way from reaching that level. Currently, the Martial Heaven Continent's chi flow is going through some subtle changes. Some sects that have been hidden for millennia are starting to move, giving birth to peak heavenly geniuses. This is the premonition that the Great Era is about to descend. But only once those ancient powers all awaken will we have truly entered the Great Era. There's still some time before that. The water still needs to heat up a bit more before it boils over. The elder nodded. He suddenly looked at Jung Wenlong. You've managed to catch this era. Have you ever considered fighting for the peak as well? After all, it's rare to be born in this era. The Martial Heaven Continent's karmic luck is gathering onto you youngsters. Rank 7, Rank 8, and Rank 9 Celestials are appearing in droves. And even Empyreans are appearing. That shows that this era will belong to you youngsters. With your devout faith in the Wealth God, you could easily ask to undergo the Divine Blessing. You would not be any bit inferior to these Empyreans. Jung Wenlong smiled faintly. To be in the same era as Long Chen is both fortunate and unfortunate. If I did choose to fight for the peak, it would be a kind of sorrow. But if I choose to comprehend the business Tao, it's a kind of blessing. Furthermore, I have no interest in fighting for the peak of the martial path. I rather like my business and constantly accumulating wealth. Using my wealth to change this world is the path I want to walk on. As for this little fellow, he's about to run into a disaster. He's already provoked the Bloodkill Hall. Do you see that girl? She's very likely that legendary existence of the Bloodkill Hall. There will be a good show to watch. The elder hastily looked back to the Bloodkill Hall's group. He saw that the girl had completely ignored the red-robed man's insult and was still walking forward. However, the people behind her all had angry expressions. He's very irritating. I want to kill him, said the handsome man behind the girl. It sounded like he was both talking to himself and asking the girl's opinion. Of the Ten Commandments of the Bloodkill Hall, what are the First and Ninth Commandments asked the girl suddenly. Her voice sounded a bit immature and yet it possessed unquestionable dignity, to guard against anger and to not attack without profit, answered the handsome man, your anger shows your cultivation is lacking, no one offered a price or assigned you a mission to kill him, to kill someone without that is against the killing God's directions, each person can be killed, but each person's life also has value, only once you've determined that value can you kill them, that's the true essence of assassination, said the girl. Yes, the man nodded and stopped speaking. Although the two of them were not talking loudly, the entire street was silent with terror. Their voices clearly came through, and that made everyone's expressions change. The girl was like a senior teaching a junior, which sounded funny. The person she was lecturing kept saying he wanted to kill the red-robed man. That wasn't funny. It was terrifying. Ha ha ha, you shameful fellows. You actually dare to spout such wild words? 
You're going to make me laugh to death. Your killing god statue was smashed by Long Chen and you couldn't do a single thing. If your killing god was still alive, he'd probably kill you himself. Laughed the red-robed man mockingly. He forced himself to do this. If he had simply accepted their words without saying anything, that would be admitting that he was afraid. The girl's footsteps paused. She slowly raised her head to look at the red-robed man. When she raised her head, she revealed her face, evoking startled cries. She looked to be only 13 or 14 years old. She had bangs covering her forehead and two incredibly bright eyes. They were like the eyes of a child and seemed innocent. While she was still too young, she was beautiful enough to make other people forget how to breathe. The most important thing was the indescribable air around her. It was like she was a god. Although she was beautiful, that beauty contained danger. It was a mix of beauty and slaughter, and it gave off very conflicting feelings. Originally, your name wasn't on the killing gods list, but you just had to add yourself to it. The girl shook her head with pity. At that moment, the handsome man behind her vanished. When he reappeared, he was right beside the red-robed man. He was like a phantom, and a bright sword appeared in his hand, stabbing toward the red-robed man. The red-robed man's focus had been on the girl's face, and he was caught off guard. He hastily dodged, but a large cut still appeared on his body. Blood poured out. If he had been one step slower, he'd have been cut in two. If this was a hidden assassination, you'd have lost your life. How is an idiot like you qualified to mock others? Do you think you're capable of blaspheming the killing god? Sneered the handsome man. When he had been behind the girl, it had felt like he was just an attendant. But as soon as he made a move, he shocked everyone. Who are you? State your name. Shouted the red-robed man. His manifestation appeared behind him, and he pointed his blood-colored spear at the handsome man. The handsome man smiled slightly and raised a hand revealing a tattoo on his arm. That tattoo was the number one. Heavens, he's Blood Kill One. He's the strongest assassin of the Blood Kill Hall's junior generation. He's not from the Eastern Xuan region but the Central Xuan region. The strongest assassins of each generation of the Blood Kill Hall were ranked by number. Furthermore, these assassins had to be young. Once they were older than 50, their number would be erased. As for Blood Kill One, Although no one had ever seen him before, they all knew that Bloodkill One was the strongest assassin of each generation of the Bloodkill Hall. He was a ghost that no one ever saw. He silently took people's lives without them being capable of defending. Even if you were ten times stronger than him, he would still kill you. That was what inspired the most terror. The sword-wielding man and the veiled woman were also shocked at this time. They both stood up. Three moves. Bloodkill One raised three fingers. He suddenly began to fade away. Everyone was shocked. What kind of move was this? In clear sunlight, he suddenly vanished like this. They all felt a chill on their backs. Seal the heavens. Lock the earth. Blood ripple. The red-robed man suddenly stabbed his spear into the air, and space shook. A blood-colored wave spread with him at the center, forming a powerful defense around him. However, just as his defense formed, a sword appeared out of thin air and stabbed him in the ribs. You're too slow. I'm already here, and you haven't even finished your defense, said Bloodkill1 disdainfully. Noveloon.com The red-robed man was horrified. Just as the power in Bloodkill1's sword was about to erupt, blood runes appeared around his body. Boom. His body exploded. But shockingly, that wasn't his true body. Another body suddenly appeared in the distance. Just at that moment. Countless images of Bloodkill One appeared in the sky, charging at him. The red-robed man's spear launched a powerful attack, and spear images filled the air, blocking them. But after just blocking two, his expression changed. Each of these images seemed like the real one. He felt like his death was certain. Just wait. I the red-robed man suddenly activated the spear in his hand. It was a divine item, and he wanted to use its power to escape. However, at that moment, a cold light split through the forbidden space he had created around him. His head was caught in a small hand. Chapter 1509 Terrifying Others Translator Born to be a cold light flashed, and in that instant, the world shook. The red-robed man's spear was unleashing divine light, but it was cut off by the cold light. The red-robed man, who had been about to break through space, 
suddenly had his head leave his body. His head was caught by a small hand. Up in the air, the girl was calmly standing there with the head in her grasp. Her expression was calm as if what she held was something unspeakably minor. But everyone, including the other two Empyreans, was shocked. This girl was absolutely terrifying. They hadn't even seen what she had done to cut off the red-robed man's head. The red-robed man looked at his body that was falling to the ground. He cried out in terror. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. His head was caught in the girl's hand. Although the heavenly deos still protected him, preventing him from dying, there was no way he could resist if the girl tried to kill him. In the face of death, he was afraid. In his terror, he begged for mercy. The girl ignored him. She said to blood kill one, with your power, even if it wasn't an assassination. You had a 30% chance of killing him, but you were too confident and gave him a chance to get away. You violated the killing God's teachings. You should know what to do. Everyone's hearts shook as they looked at the terrifying Blood Kill One. Blood Kill One's expression was solemn as he nodded. He suddenly took out a blood-colored dagger. The dagger had countless barbs on it that made it look exceptionally sinister. Furthermore, there was a blue light coming from the barbs. It was definitely poisoned. Shockingly, Blood Kill One stabbed himself in the chest with the dagger. When he pulled it out, blood spurted. The barbs all had his flesh caught in them. It was like a beast had taken a big bite out of his body. He then stabbed himself again twice, for a total of three times, leaving large and horrifying holes in his body. His face was twisted in pain. Everyone was shocked, not knowing what was happening. Just now, Blood Kill One had injured the red robed man in one move showing his great power, but why did he have to mutilate himself just because of one sentence from that girl? No matter how high your cultivation base, no matter how strong you are, you have to remember your status. You are an assassin, and an assassin can't make mistakes. Unless there comes a day when you surpass the killing god, you cannot betray the killing god's teachings. Understood. The girl didn't have the slightest emotion on her tender face nor in her voice. Yes. Blood Kill One nodded, but his face was shuddering from how much pain he was in. Clearly, that dagger was not ordinary. Please, spare me. I know I was wrong. I, the red-robed man begged for mercy. He now realized just how vicious this group of people was. He was filled with regret that he had ever provoked them. The girl tossed his head to Blood Kill One. Blood Kill One produced a hook, piercing it through the red-robed man's jaw and out his nose, sealing his mouth. He could no longer cry out, and the pain made his eyes bulge Novaloon.com This scene gave everyone chills. Although they hadn't experienced the same thing, just the sight of it was unbearable. The blood kill hall was vicious. Not only were they vicious to others, but they were also vicious to their own people. Although it was noon and the sun was still high in the sky, everyone was shivering. Don't worry, we won't kill you. Each life has a value, and the blood kill hall never wastes life. Just wait for your sect to pay the ransom for you, said Bloodkill One coldly. He then tossed the head to one of the people behind him. They had long since collected the red-robed man's headless body, as well as his spear. This spear was a divine item, but Bloodkill One hadn't been at a disadvantage when he had been fighting against it. But most shocking of all was that this divine item didn't even try to flee. It just obediently allowed itself to be brought over. The girl slowly began to walk down the street once more. There were no fluctuations coming from her body, and it was like she was an ordinary girl. She appeared cute and lovable. If they hadn't personally witnessed it, no one would believe that this seemingly innocent girl was actually so terrifying. Bloodkill One had been so powerful that he had injured the red-robed man in one move and forced him into desperate straits in three moves, forcing him to flee. As for the girl... She was even more terrifying. No one had even seen what she had done. But somehow, she had broken the seal the divine item had created to sever the red-robed man's head. She then made Blood Kill One punish himself for his failure. The girl was walking once more, with Blood Kill One behind her and the others behind him. They were holding the red-robed man's head and body, obediently following without a word. No one dared to make a sound within the entire eastern Xuan city. They only watched as they advanced. It was a bizarre sight. Last time, Long Chen had walked along this road, completely domineering and unstoppable. And now, the girl was also walking down the same path. 
No one dared to make a sound. Both of them had been so shocking and breathtaking. Only once the girl had reached the end of the street and gradually faded from their sight did everyone feel a stone fall from their hearts. These terrifying assassins could take someone's life at any moment. Even Empyreans wouldn't be able to protect themselves. The sword-bearing man and the veiled woman both felt a chill. Now, in the Eastern Xuan region's junior generation, the most famous person was Long Chen. If anyone defeated him, they would indisputably become the number one person of the Eastern Xuan region. All these people had come here not because they had any enmity with Long Chen, but for that title. However, these thoughts were blown away by what they had just seen. Bloodkill One had struck as quick as lightning and had been as ephemeral as the wind. He had been untouchable, and that was in an open battle. If it was an assassination, who would be able to block him? Furthermore, that girl was even more terrifying. They weren't able to see her move, and even a divine item's transportation had been forcibly severed by her. It had to be known that they were Empyreans, and their divine items had been given offerings for many generations. With their cultivation basis, the Empyreans were unable to use divine items. So the main purpose of having a divine item was to show off. However, even if they couldn't unleash a divine item's divine might, when they ran into danger, they could ask the divine item to bring them away. That made a divine item a life-saving talisman. It was also why they dared to come out like this. However, that girl had severed the divine item's transportation, which had turned their hearts cold. If you couldn't beat her and couldn't run away from her, then you were simply doomed. Long Chen is someone the Blood Kill Hall will be killing. The rest of you should go back to wherever you came from. With your power, you're not qualified to challenge Long Chen. The girl's voice floated over from the distance, causing the expressions of all the experts in the city to grow unsightly. However, no one dared to retort, including the two Empyreans, let alone that terrifying girl. Just Blood Kill One wasn't someone they could handle, even if they were both Empyreans. There was a huge difference between them. Jung Wenlong's heart was a bit heavy. Others might not know much about the Blood Kill Hall, but the Huaian sect knew many of their secrets. That was because the two of them had some business cooperation. Should we warn Long Chen? Probed the elder beside Jung Wenlong. Jung Wenlong shook his head. The Blood Kill Hall and Long Chen are our clients. We can't betray the rules. We can do a vague warning, said the elder. Jung Wenlong looked at him severely. What men do, gods see, gods can't be tricked. The elder shook and he hastily apologized. This kind of thinking was a kind of blasphemy toward the wealth god. Don't worry about it. The god has arranged for everything. Our worrying is useless. What we need to do is calmly do what we need to do, and go in the direction the wealth god is leading us, said Jung Wenlong. He knew the elder had good intentions, but there were some things that were too far out of line to do. That was what faith was. Outside the eastern Xuan city, at the center of the old battlefield, the girl stood there with her eyes closed, looking like she was sensing something. Her mouth was curled up slightly. It was probably a smile. Bloodkill One and the other assassins were standing in the distance. They didn't dare to disturb her. They also felt the remnant aura on this battlefield. They felt the powerful wills and berserk auras that hung in the air. The girl stood in the center of the battlefield for a full day and night. On the next day, when the sun was slowly rising over the horizon, she finally opened her eyes. Looking at the sunrise, she smiled faintly. You will always be you. No matter what you go through, you are always so warm. Perhaps in this entire world, you are the only thing that won't change. After muttering to herself, she suddenly turned to blood kill one and the others. We're going back. Going back? But what about Long Chen? Asked Blood Kill One. Stunned, the girl shook her head. He currently isn't a match for me, and killing him is meaningless. I'll wait for him to take his next step before killing him. It doesn't need to be you. I could also oh. The girl's expression sank ever so slightly. If you have any objections to my decisions, you can kill me with your weapon at any time. I wouldn't dare. Cried Blood Kill One hastily. Since you don't dare. Then you have to listen to my orders. Don't worry that Long Chen might be killed by others and we won't be able to wash away our humiliation. The killing god has long since arranged for everything. He's already given me his prophecy. 
He has ordered to wait until Long Chen is at his most dazzling in order to kill him, said the girl. Great killing god. Please forgive this disciple's foolishness. Blood kill one hastily bowed toward the sky in prayer. Let's go. The girl led them away. Just before leaving, she took a profound look at the battlefield. Chapter 1510 Falling into a Trap Translator Born to be the ancient family alliance was composed of all the powerful ancient families. Their inheritance stretched back all the way into the ancient era. After the Battle of the Immortal Era, the majority of the powerful families at that time were destroyed, and only a small portion survived. Then after experiencing successive dark eras, the ancient families declined and were whittled down by the flow of time. After the last dark era, the martial heaven continent became filled with strife and internal conflict. The battle between the righteous and corrupt paths in particular grew to a greater intensity. The flames of battle spread throughout the continent. The ancient families that were on the verge of fading out of existence finally banded together, forming the ancient family alliance to jointly face their enemies. These enemies weren't people they had offended. These enemies were people greedy for the powerful foundations and wealth of the ancient families. Anything that came from the ancient era had to have powerful origins. Some ancient inheritances or secret tomes were enough to make anyone envious. If these ancient families hadn't banded together, both the corrupt path and the righteous path would pose a great danger to them. After the ancient family alliance formed, they began fighting alongside the righteous path against the corrupt path. That was because before they formed their alliance, it had been the corrupt path who had launched several sneak attacks on them, snatching their wealth as well as their secret arts. It was because the corrupt path was the main offender that they ended up planting the seed of hatred. Although the ancient family alliance couldn't count as a member of the righteous path, they would always stand on their side as soon as it came to standing against the corrupt path. It was thanks to the righteous path and the ancient family alliance joining hands that the corrupt path, which had been growing in power, was finally suppressed again. They could only hide in the dark and secretly raise their power. After the ancient family alliance was formed, the ancient families finally had a measure of safety and began to rapidly grow. After all, although they had declined, they had powerful foundations and inheritances. It was just that they didn't reveal them for fear of drawing killers. In the end, after so many years of development, the ancient families grew stronger. Now some powerful families were finally revealed. The Shaw family was one of those. Back when the ancient family alliance was first formed, they were an extremely unremarkable family. However, in the last few centuries, the effects of their powerful foundation were brought to bear. They actually possessed a divine item that maintained their karmic luck. Back then they had been extremely weak and focused entirely on growing unnoticed. Once they were powerful enough to be fearless, they began to show their power. All those powers that had once offended the Shah family had to pay miserable prices. Even five of the ancient families were destroyed by them. Those five ancient families had once bullied and kept the Shah family down. But now the Shah family had grown to the point that they were one of the top three ancient families in the eastern Xuan region. The other two were well established as the top powers, but the Shah family's rise ruined their original board. It now became a three-way deadlock. It could be seen how powerful the Shah family had grown. Giving rise to an empyrean in the form of Shah Guangyan in particular had set the Shah family's rise in stone. They had been prepared to shake the eastern Xuan region. Unfortunately, Sha Guangyan, who had been supposed to rise to glory, had only just released a bit of light before he was beaten down from the heavens. This beating dumbfounded the Sha family. This beating had been given to them by Long Chen in the spirit world. It was such a strong beating that the Sha family was seeing stars. Their peerless genius Sha Guangyan had been defeated, and extremely miserably at that. Not only had he lost to Long Chen, but Len Yuian had cut off one of his arms as well. It was practically an insult to the entire Sha family. When they heard that Long Chen had appeared in the eastern Xuan city, the Sha family's master had directly gone out with Sha Guangyan and their divine item to kill Long Chen, wiping away their humiliation. Yet, that plan had also been ruined by Long Chen. Three Empyreans had still been miserably defeated. And if it hadn't been for the heavenly tribulation locking onto Long Chen in the end, 
the three of them would definitely have been killed. Most depressing of all, even when three experts on the same level as their family master had joined hands with divine items to seal Long Chen, he had still gotten away. That slap in the face was too resounding. The Sha family was located in an ancient city within the eastern Xuan region. The surroundings were filled with rising and falling mountains, and everything within tens of thousands of miles was the Sha family's territory. On this day, a person appeared within the mountains and stealthily approached the city. It was Long Chen. Long Chen had two targets. One was Peng Wancheng and the other was Sha Guangyan. But after considering things, he had chosen Sha Guangyan. That was because the Sha family was located in a rather remote area. There weren't any powerful forces nearby that could reinforce them. All the ancient families had their own territories. As for the ancient races, because they didn't like mixing with the human race, they gathered in their own region. Far away from them, the Sha family had to be rich and not just in money. Their heaven and earth divine spring had to contain a great amount of karmic luck, or they wouldn't be able to give rise to an empyrean. However, when he got closer to the Sha family's city gates, Long Chen suddenly felt a slight sense of unease. Something's wrong. Long Chen's heart suddenly shook. He saw that the Sha family was bustling with people coming and going like everything was normal. It was because it was so natural that he felt something was off. During this period, he had been getting vengeance on many powers, and they had all locked their doors for fear of his arrival. For the Shaw family to be acting normal meant that something was amiss. The longer he observed them, the more uneasy he felt. Long Chen, leave. We've been caught in an ambush. I sense the auras of several divine items, warned Evil Moon just as Long Chen was hesitating over whether he should advance or retreat. Hearing that, Long Chen hesitated no longer and rapidly retreated. Ha ha ha, since you've come, don't think about leaving. Thunderous laughter rang out and divine light exploded in the sky. A golden light shot toward Long Chen. Without even thinking about it, Long Chen slashed Evil Moon at it. Black light came from Evil Moon, and when the two lights collided, a powerful explosion blew Long Chen back. His arms tingled. Long Chen, I finally caught you. This time, I'll make sure to kill you in the most painful way possible. A chilling voice rang out. Chi Yuneo, the golden light faded and Long Chen finally managed to see who had attacked him. When Long Chen saw his opponent, his heart sank slightly. It was the heaven-suppressing magic sect Chi Yuneo. His face was twisted with hatred and rancor, and he was holding the violet gold soul-devouring staff. Long Chen, you were really brazen to attack the Pill Tower. Now let's see where you can run. Pill Valley's Vice Palace Master spoke, his voice blazing with killing intent. Ha ha ha. Long Chen, since you've come to my Sha family as a guest, I have to treat you with the right hospitality. I feel like there's no need to say any unnecessary words to someone about to die a very miserable death. Long Chen recognized the elder that had just spoken. He was the elder who had come with Sha Guangyan to the eastern Xuan city. He was the head of the Sha family. Sha Guangyan was standing beside him, smiling maliciously at Long Chen. Long Chen. Even if you grew wings, you wouldn't be able to get away. What Long Chen found surprising was that Pen Wanchen was also present, as well as the elder from back then. Yi King Kuang and his master were also here. The two of them were just coldly staring at Long Chen and didn't say anything. Perhaps it was because everything they had to say had already been said by the others, so they simply chose to keep their mouths shut. Other than them, five other elders were floating in the air looking at him like prey. Looks like you've been waiting for a long time. Long Chen smiled indifferently. His face was calm, but large waves were raging in his heart. He couldn't understand how they had known he would attack the Sha family. He hadn't told anyone after he had decided to attack the Sha family. No one had known. There were plenty of targets he could have attacked. Furthermore, he had just attacked the Pill Tower. Considering the huge waves, People should have assumed he'd go into hiding until things died down a bit, even if people were able to correctly guess that he would brave this danger anyways. How could they guess his target would be the Shaw family of all things? Even if someone had guessed he would attack the Shaw family, how could they be so sure? There was no way so many experts were here by coincidence. 
They had clearly been fully prepared and sure that he would attack the Sha family. Even Pen Wancheng and his elder had come. That proved beyond the shadow of a doubt that they had known he would attack the Sha family. That was what shocked Long Chen the most. However, he didn't display that shock. The head of the Sha family laughed. Haha, <laughs> Long Chen, I'm impressed that you can stay so calm in the face of death. Your guts are quite big. Who would have thought that you would attack my Sha family in this kind of situation? If it hadn't been for cough, there's no need to say that much. Long Chen, are you going to come willingly with us? Or do we need to use force? Demanded the vice palace master, cutting off his words. Long Chen narrowed his eyes. The head of the Sha family had been about to expose a clue. A name suddenly surfaced in his mind. If it hadn't been for the support of some heaven-peering arts, you would have never imagined such a thing. Is that right? A touch of shock appeared on everyone's faces. Long Chen clenched his fists. Another enemy was courting death. Chapter 1511 Brahma Divine Diagram Translator Born to be such precise calculations were probably something only Heavenly Fate Island was capable of. But Long Chen couldn't be sure that it was them. So he only brought up fortune telling. However, their shock was his answer. Back then, Xuan Jizi had found trouble for Long Chen multiple times with his despicable means. In the end, he and the Pill Fairy had killed Xuan Jizi in Pill Valley. Because Xuan Jizi had been abandoned by Heavenly Fate Island, Long Chen hadn't found any trouble for Heavenly Fate Island. Once Xuan Jizi died, Long Chen had let that matter go. But while he didn't go find trouble for Heavenly Fate Island, Heavenly Fate Island ended up helping Long Chen's enemies scheme against him. Now Long Chen was infuriated. Fine, if they wanted to play, he would play. Looking at the experts in the sky, Long Chen was overflowing with battle intent. Evil Moon was on his shoulder. Long Chen, I'd advise you to go quietly with me back to Pill Valley. The Valley Master will deal with you. That's your only chance of living said the Flame Divine Palace's Vice Palace Master. Ha ha ha, Long Chen laughed. If I went quietly, I wouldn't be Long Chen. Since I dared to destroy your Pill Tower, I never had any intention of turning back. Your Pill Valley might like to consider yourselves the upholders of justice in this world, while you actually use despicable means and a monopoly over medicinal pills to control the world. You act neutral, while you secretly stretch your hands throughout the continent. Sowing chaos with the intent of controlling everyone. Don't think that no one knows that you were the ones who secretly destroyed the Zhuanshan Dao sect. Long Chen found himself feeling more and more hatred for Pill Valley. From the start, he had suspected that the Zhuanshan Dao sect's destruction had been related to Pill Valley. Even if they hadn't personally attacked, they had to have been part of the plot. Otherwise, who would dare to destroy a supreme sect so brazenly? Then Li Xiangxuan had sent him a message through the Huaian sect that had confirmed his guess. Long Chen, don't spout nonsense. The Zhuanshan Dao sect's destruction was done by the corrupt path. It was part of the conflict between the righteous and corrupt paths. However, you went berserk and wrongly released your fury on the heaven-suppressing magic sect you've committed uncountable atrocities. But you still dare to slander others, shouted the vice palace master. Fuck your mother. Old ghost, do you dare to swear to the heavens that you didn't participate in the attack against the Zhuanshan Dao sect? Cursed Long Chen, his voice ringing like thunder in the air. HMPH, why would I waste my time convincing someone about to die? How childish, snorted the vice palace master. Sanctimonious hypocrites are the most hateful. You scheme against others in the dark and then feign righteous indignation when they get their revenge in the open. Since you want to kill me, then just come. I promise to pull a few of you old ghosts with me. Long Chen pointed Evil Moon at them, and an unstoppable will surged out along with chilling killing intent. Long Chen, you destroyed my heaven-suppressing magic sect today. I'll definitely kill you. Chi Yuneo was the first to charge out. His violet gold soul devouring staff unleashed its divine might, and he used it as a spear, stabbing it at Long Chen. Considering his hatred for him, Chi Yuneo immediately launched his sharpest killing blow. There are too many of them. We have to run, said Evil Moon. Black Chi poured out of it, condensing into a huge saber image. Boom. A collision of divine items shook heaven and earth. Divine might filled the world, 
and blinding light drowned out of the sun. After blocking the attack, black light surged out of Evil Moon and enveloped Long Chen. It shot toward the sky, wanting to bring Long Chen away. Want to run now? Stop dreaming. Suddenly, the Vice Palace Master took out a diagram. The world shifted. Endless stars filled heaven and earth, completely sealing this space. The Brahma Divine Diagram. Fury appeared in Long Chen's eyes. That diagram was Pill Valley's divine item. The Brahma Divine Diagram was a priceless treasure, and the information about it was limited to legend. Practically, no one in the current era had ever seen it. It had completely sealed this space in the diagram's own world. There was nowhere to run. Now we're in trouble. That diagram possesses the will of a god. It's a true divine item, and after being nourished by endless faith energy, it's extremely powerful. Although this person is unable to bring out its full power, I'm currently too weak to break its seal, said Evil Moon. Its voice contained a hint of vexation. Long Chen cursed inside. This trap was truly well laid, as all Long Chen's trump cards had been calculated in. Clearly, the Vice Palace Master had brought out the Brahma Divine Scripture specifically to handle Evil Moon. Let's see where you can run to this time. The Brahma Divine Scripture is even more powerful than your Zhuanshan Dao sect's Zhuanshan Tower. You're definitely dead. So why bother struggling shouted the Vice Palace Master. Of course it's stronger than the Zhuanshan Tower. Or how could the Zhuanshan Tower be forced to flee into the chaotic space between worlds? Sneered Long Chen. When Long Chen said this, the Vice Palace Master's expression twitched. But it quickly returned to normal. Long Chen. Don't bother trying to infuriate me. I won't quibble with someone about to die. Long Chen cursed again. Even now, when he was forced into this trap of definite death, the Vice Palace Master refused to admit anything. Although Li Xiang Xuan had said that Pill Valley had participated, Long Chen didn't know the details. But at the very least, this little test revealed just how terrifying the Brahma Divine Scripture was. It was what had forced the Zhuanshan Tower to flee into chaotic space. Is there really no way to escape? Asked Long Chen. Your only chance is to capture that fellow and use his life as a hostage. Otherwise, even if you killed him, this space has already been formed, and it won't let us out even if he dies, said Evil Moon a bit helplessly. Long Chen, hand over your life. Suddenly, divine light blazed. Chi Yuneo was attacking once more with the violet gold soul devouring staff. Why don't you fuck off? Split the heavens five. Long Chen's divine ring surged behind him. A huge black saber image slashed down. Five stars appeared in Long Chen's eyes, and green dragon scales covered his body. Long Chen unleashed all his power. Before, Long Chen was forced to slowly increase his power in battle. First, he would activate the divine ring then the five-star battle armor, and then the green dragon battle armor. It wasn't for showing off, but that if he didn't have this warm-up process, instantly raising his power to the peak would be a great burden to his body. Yet now, having reached the eight-star transformation, his body had strengthened to the point that he didn't need to worry about that. Moreover, Chi Yuneo's twisted expression enraged Long Chen. Chi Yuneo acted like he was a victim when he had been one of the main factors that destroyed the Zhuanshan Dao sect although Li Xiang Xuan was still alive. He refused to come out. Something must have happened to the Zhuanshan Tower, or he would be the first one to come out and defend Long Chen. Chi Yuneo's appearance had fully infuriated Long Chen. He wanted to kill him right now. The huge saber image contained an unstoppable will as it slashed down. That huge power shocked Chi Yuneo and he hastily switched to defense. However, he was still sent flying. Half his body exploded, and he almost died. That shocked everyone. But then when they thought about it, they also felt that Chi Yuneo was truly stupid. He was the first to charge at Long Chen with his weak physical body. Maybe Chi Yuneo wanted to kill Long Chen too badly, or maybe he felt that Long Chen was a turtle caught in a jar, unable to resist. However, he had forgotten that Long Chen was not a turtle. He was a dragon, a berserk dragon. Anyone who got close would be risking their life. Die. After almost killing Chi Yuneo, Long Chen attacked again. Long Chen, don't be so arrogant. The other experts immediately activated their weapons, attacking Long Chen. Long Chen was blown away by their combined might. 
He coughed up blood. In front of this many experts, he was outmatched. Kill him. An elder raised his sword. He charged at Long Chen, his sword unleashing divine light. If you want to kill me, we'll have to see if you have that ability. Long Chen sneered and slashed Evil Moon out. An explosive sound shook everyone's ears as that elder was blown away. He wasn't a match for Long Chen in terms of power. If he hadn't had a divine item to block a portion of Long Chen's power, he'd have been killed. He coughed up blood, shocked. That shock quickly transformed into killing intent. Such a person definitely couldn't be left alive. Long Chen had just sent the first one flying when the others blew him away again. He coughed up blood, but in that instant, he formed some rapid hand seals. Double Dragon Destruction A Golden Flame Dragon and a five-colored lightning dragon roared into existence, causing everyone's expressions to change. Chapter 1512 All Trump Cards Exhausted Translator Born to be Lai Long and Huo Long roared, their voices shaking everyone's ears. When they appeared, all the experts' expressions changed. Five-color tribulation lightning, heaven incinerating flame, they were all experienced top experts. As they recognized the origin of the lightning dragon and flame dragon, they hastily switched from offense to defense. Boom. Lai Long and Huo Long crashed through them and suddenly exploded. Their huge power blew all those experts away. They were all shocked. Even with divine items protecting them, they felt their blood flipping inside their bodies. If they hadn't had divine items, they would have at least lost a layer of skin, if not their lives. Sha Guangyan, Pen Wanshang, Yi King Kuang, watch out. Long Chen wants to kill you. One of the experts suddenly let out a startled cry. Within the sky full of exploding runes, a single figure was using them as cover to approach the three of them. Long Chen, do you think we're easy to bully? Die. Sha Guangyan and Pen Wancheng sneered, while Yi King Kuang roared furiously. The three of them extended their hands, and three divine items that had been in other people's hands suddenly appeared in their grasp. With three divine items and their primal chaos manifestations surging, they attacked Long Chen. Die. Boom. The full power of three Empyreans erupted. The instant their attacks were about to smash into Long Chen. An explosive sound rang out in the distance. Someone was coughing up blood and flying back, startling everyone. The Vice Palace Master, the one coughing up blood was the Divine Flame Palace's Vice Palace Master. One of his arms had been slashed off. Just at this moment, everyone realized that the Long Chen that Sha Guangyan, Pen Wanshang, and Yi King Kuang had attacked was nothing more than a flame clone. It's a trick. Only now did everyone react. Long Chen's target wasn't the Empyreans but the Vice Palace Master. The Vice Palace Master was busy maintaining this space, and he had no other divine items to protect himself. Protect the Vice Palace Master. They believed that if the Vice Palace Master was slain, the Brahma Divine Scripture would no longer be able to hold Long Chen. Then their whole enterprise would end in failure. Just as they reacted, a huge saber image appeared, slashing down with boundless killing intent. Split the heavens five. The vice palace master was pale. If this attack struck him, he'd be turned to dust. Long Chen was too fast and didn't give him any chance to breathe. The vice palace master hastily waved his hand, and ripples appeared in space. This world shook as a huge barrier appeared around him. This was a defense created by the Brahma divine scripture. It had been this barrier that had also saved his life from Long Chen's first attack. However, this barrier instantly shattered when Long Chen's terrifying attack struck it. The saber image struck the vice palace master, causing him to wildly cough up blood. His body almost exploded, and he fainted. Long Chen was delighted and hastily shot forward, reaching for his neck. It seemed that the vice palace master was unable to fully bring out the Brahma divine diagram's power and was only capable of capturing people inside this space. If he was able to use its full power, he would become the absolute ruler of this space, capable of killing anyone with just a thought. As long as Long Chen could capture the Vice Palace Master, he'd have gained a divine protective talisman and instantly reverse the tide. Scram. Just as Long Chen was about to reach his goal, a magical staff appeared in front of him. It was Chi Yuneo. Chi Yuneo had recovered from Long Chen's first assault, 
and he suddenly coughed up a mouthful of blood onto the violet gold soul devouring staff. Divine Light formed a large cross-shaped shield in front of Chi Yuneo and the Vice Palace Master. Boom. Long Chen slammed into the shield and shot back like a shooting star. Popping sounds came from his bones as they almost shattered. Damn it. Long Chen cursed inside. Everything had depended on this, but now his plans were ruined by Chi Yuneo. Having consecutively used the fifth form of Split the Heavens and the Double Dragon Destruction, he had used up the majority of his spiritual yuan. He was no longer in his peak state and wouldn't be able to create a second chance to capture the Vice Palace Master. Attack together, Sha Guangyan roared. He sensed that Long Chen's power was starting to drop after unleashing three of his strongest moves. This was their best chance to kill him. You want to kill me? It'll cost you your life. Lightning spirit explosion A huge lightning sphere appeared in Long Chen's hands. He pressed down on it with brute force, and the destructive power exploded. Five colored lightning shot out in every direction. This is five colored tribulation lightning. Quick, come and protect me. Sha Guangyan, Pen Wanshang, and Yi King Kuang's elders shouted out. They no longer had a divine item to protect themselves, and they were terrified of this lightning. This was annihilation lightning, and even if it didn't immediately kill them, once it invaded their bodies, it would be extremely difficult to expel. No one wanted to be infected by something much more terrifying than poison. Perhaps Empyreans would be able to slowly expel it, but Celestials were not capable of that, not even rank 9 Celestials. Sha Guangyan, Pen Wanshang, and Yi King Kuang hastily flew back to their elders protecting them from the lightning. Everyone was using their divine items to protect themselves. Thunderous rumbling rang out, but they weren't injured. However, they were still shaken. They couldn't imagine that a single person would be able to control this much terrifying lightning. This five-colored lightning had filled this world. It was practically endless. Within this endless lightning and thunder, divine chanting suddenly appeared. Long Chen was chanting up in the sky and a huge flame sphere was growing in his hand. This was the Brahma Divine Diagram's world. But as he chanted, space became unsteady. This is the second volume of the Nirvana scripture. How can he know it? The Vice Palace Master recovered thanks to Chi Yuneo's protection, and hearing this chanting, he cried out in shock. The first volume was offered to any disciple of the Pill Towers to learn. But the second volume of the Nirvana scripture was something only the core disciples of Pill Valley could learn. Each disciple who had cultivated it was recorded. It was not allowed to be transmitted at all. Somehow this was actually the second volume of the Nirvana scripture. There was no mistaking it. The Brahma divine scripture was actually giving off a feeling of fear. Shocking the vice palace master. The flame sphere in Long Chen's hand rapidly grew. It became a 30,000 meter star blazing with light. Space was crumbling around it. That sight was horrifying. The world shuddered, and cracks began to appear. The vice palace master hastily formed hand seals. Sweat covered his back. He begged, Senior, please, you can't let him out. Please hold on just a bit longer. He was begging the item spirit of the Brahma divine diagram. It actually told him that it wanted to release Long Chen. But if that happened, they wouldn't be able to kill him. The Brahma Divine Diagram was uneasy. When Long Chen began chanting the Nirvana scripture, it felt a kind of sacred aura around him that made it afraid. Attack together, kill Long Chen, shouted the Vice Palace Master. At this time, everyone recovered from their shock. Divine light began to shine from each of their weapons. Starfall, Long Chen's face was pale and he was breathing heavily. The huge sphere in his hand shot down. The sphere was like a star. A star about to reach the end of its life and explode. A sensation of death spread as everyone's attack struck it. Endless destructive power erupted. Ripples of death spread throughout every corner of this world. The void exploded over and over again. Chaos reigned and a whirlwind of destruction unfurled. Long Chen was covered in black chi. This was the protective domain that Evil Moon had created to protect him. Evil Moon's two dragon images lit up, and a huge saber image struck the sky. Countless cracks appeared in the sky, but they quickly recovered and vanished. How regretful. It's still not enough. Just a bit more and we'd have been able to get out. 
This Brahma divine diagram really is hard to deal with. Side of Ilmoon. Just now, the explosion of Starfall had weakened the barrier of this world, and Evil Moon had taken that chance to attack it. However, it still wasn't enough to break out. It's fine. If we can't get away, we'll just pick off a few of them. Within this torrent of destructive runes, Long Chen saw a vague figure, not caring who it was. He slashed his saber down. Boom. A miserable scream rang out as that expert blew apart. But Long Chen also coughed up a mouthful of blood. He felt the world spinning around him and he almost collapsed. Long Chen, face your death. Just at this moment, three figures charged at him, wielding divine items. Fuck, why is their luck so good? Long Chen didn't have any more energy. He was filled with unwillingness. The three of them were actually Sha Guangyan, Pen Wanshang, and Yi King Kuang. The person he had killed was just some random expert. Just as Long Chen thought that his death was certain today. A fierce fluctuation came from his mind see. Chapter 1513 The Might of the Heaven Flipping Seal Translator Born to be die. Three divine items fell toward Long Chen at the same time. Sha Guangyan, Pen Wanshang, and Yi King Kuang's expressions were all twisted. Only by personally killing Long Chen could they wipe away their humiliation. Long Chen had exhausted almost all of his spiritual yuan. His final trace of energy was only enough to drag one of them with him. Evil Moon was currently attacking the barrier, but it wasn't succeeding. Although it had some energy left, it would be useless against this many experts and divine items. Just as Long Chen thought that he was about to die, an intense fluctuation came from his mind sea. A cyan light enveloped Long Chen, forming a thick barrier. The three divine items smashed into the barrier, emitting blinding light. A powerful explosion sent Sha Guangyan, Pen Wanshang, and Yi King Kuang tumbling back, their arms almost breaking. What everyone looked in shock to see a cyan brick slowly revolving around Long Chen. The cyan light was coming from the brick, protecting Long Chen, the heaven flipping seal. Long Chen was ecstatic. He hadn't expected the heaven flipping seal to awaken at such a time. The Heaven Flipping Seal had been in slumber ever since he had used the Aldevil Monster Soul Essence to create a new item spirit. It had been nourished in his spiritual space the entire time. It was like a newborn who viewed Long Chen as a father. Seeing Long Chen injured, it unleashed terrifying divine might that spread like furious ocean waves. The Heaven Flipping Seal suddenly grew explosively, becoming 30,000 meters long as it smashed toward the experts. Block it together. The huge brick smashed down with such frightening power that Chi Yuneo and the others' expressions all changed. All their divine items activated, and their attacks rained down on the heaven flipping seal. Shockingly, all their attacks exploded on contact with the heaven flipping seal. It continued falling mercilessly. They scattered in terror, but one elder dodged too slowly. The heaven flipping seal smashed him to dust. His divine item was fine but his Yuan spirit was annihilated. Long Chen was surprised and delighted by the Heaven Flipping Seal's power. He was just about to direct the Heaven Flipping Seal to kill all these people when an angry roar came from Evil Moon. Hurry and stop it. It doesn't know how to use the power of its divine runes. If it attacks again, it'll use up all its energy. Have it come back and give me its divine energy. We'll smash this barrier together. The Heaven Flipping Seal's item spirit was like a newborn and didn't know how to control itself. It was simply using its anger to randomly strike with its power. That was wasting the majority of its power. Long Chen hadn't realized that, but Evil Moon was well aware of it. The Heaven Flipping Seal was like a powerful child. It had immense power, but no idea how to properly use it. 90% of the energy in its attack had been wasted, causing Evil Moon to want to curse. If Long Chen allowed the Heaven Flipping Seal to attack again, it would use up all its energy and would only be able to kill a few of these people. That was useless. If it used up all its energy, then they really would be doomed. Heaven Flipping Seal, get back here. Long Chen beckoned, and the Heaven Flipping Seal obediently returned. It shrank and transformed into a cyan light that returned to his hand Noveloon.com Long Chen's soul was intimately connected to the Heaven Flipping Seal. He directly ordered it to transfer its divine energy to Evil Moon. The Heaven Flipping Seal didn't hesitate when it came to Long Chen's orders. Its runes lit up, 
and a pillar of light shot into Evil Moon. What the fuck? Will this even work? It's wasting all its energy. I can't even absorb half of it. Cursed Evil Moon. Stop cursing. The heaven flipping seal is still a child and doesn't know how to use its energy, said Long Chen. Fine. I'll absorb it myself. Tell it not to resist. If all its energy is wasted like this, I won't be able to break this barrier. Evil Moon's black runes lit up, and a huge saber image appeared. The heaven flipping seal quivered as it felt a powerful force absorb its energy. It instinctively resisted, but that instinct was suppressed by Long Chen. Divine energy poured toward Evil Moon. Having obtained the heaven flipping seal's power, Evil Moon's two dragon images lit up. The roaring of a dragon could vaguely be heard. Boom. The huge saber image slashed into the huge barrier. Space exploded as the laws of heaven and earth were shattered. The sky suddenly shattered like ice, and a huge hole appeared. Long Chen was delighted to see that hole, but Chi Yuneo and the other's expressions completely changed. Stop him, roared Chi Yuneo. He coughed up another mouthful of blood onto the violet gold soul devouring staff, launching the first attack. Even he was too late. The instant the barrier broke, the black saber image shrank and pulled in Long Chen. As for the others, they were dumbfounded that Evil Moon had broken the barrier. They only reacted once Long Chen vanished. I'll remember everything you've done for me today. Long Chen's figure vanished, but his voice still hung in the air. Damn it. He actually got away. Chi Yuneo stabbed the violet gold soul devouring staff into the ground and let out a furious bellow. This meticulous plan they had been preparing for so long had still failed. The other experts looked at each other, all seeing each other's fear. Long Chen would definitely get his revenge for this. Other than Chi Yuneo, the others had powerful families or sects. On the other hand, Long Chen didn't have anything to cause him any misjivings. He didn't fear anyone. Now it seemed they might have doomed themselves. Who knew when Long Chen's revenge would come? Thinking of Long Chen's viciousness, his heaven-shaking combat power, and his bottomless trump cards, they all felt a chill. Vice Palace Master, you should hurry and contact Heavenly Fate Island to calculate Long Chen's next position. Otherwise, we'll be forced to live in constant fear, sighed an elder. He regretted coming now, but regret was useless. The Vice Palace Master waved his hand, and the world changed. They reappeared outside the Shah family city after he put away the Brahma Divine Diagram. His expression was extremely unsightly. Even with the Brahma Divine Diagram, Long Chen had gotten away. That cyan brick in his possession was absolutely terrifying. Furthermore, he felt like he had heard of it from somewhere, but he wasn't able to remember. The thing that made him the most uneasy was that Long Chen could use the second volume of the Nirvana scripture, and when he used it, even the Brahma Divine Diagram felt uneasy and afraid. The Vice Palace Master could also use the second volume of the Nirvana scripture. The scripture was the same and the rhythm of the chanting was identical. But when Long Chen used it, he felt an innate feeling of reverence. That made him feel extremely uneasy. Long Chen had too many secrets. Previously, he had heard that Long Chen knew the first volume of the Nirvana scripture but he had never heard that Long Chen could use the second volume. Where had he managed to learn it? Vice Palace Master. Seeing the Vice Palace Master silently standing there with a dark expression, someone finally called out. What? What did you just say? The Vice Palace Master finally came out of his thoughts. I said you should go alert Heavenly Fate Island to calculate Long Chen's next position. We should kill him now while he's still heavily injured. Otherwise. None of us will be able to rest easy, repeated that elder. The Vice Palace Master bitterly smiled. Heavenly Fate Island's people are too arrogant. I'm not qualified to speak to them. In truth, their help this time was thanks to the Valley Master personally asking, or Heavenly Fate Island wouldn't have bothered with us. All right, I'll go report to the Valley Master. Long Chen must be eliminated if Long Chen takes revenge during this time. We, said the elder worriedly. Don't worry, Long Chen will be frightened by this experience. He'll definitely hide for a while. Furthermore, the Valley Master has his own arrangements. We just need to wait for his orders. I'll be leaving first. The Vice Palace Master didn't give anyone a chance to argue before leaving. Staring in the direction he went, 
the other people's expressions became unsightly. Long Chen was too vicious. None of them could handle his revenge. Unfortunately he had already escaped, and there was nothing to say. They could only place their hopes on Pill Valley. Each day during this time would be like torture as they waited for Long Chen to come to their doors. The void crumbled, and Long Chen fell from the sky. He saw stars spinning around him, and he fainted. Chapter 1514 True Cooperation Translator Born to be endless darkness descended and that familiar voice appeared once more. Long Chen felt himself to be drifting within the endless cosmos, with time and space frozen. I can sense you once more. The ancient voice rang out. Long Chen didn't say anything. He had already gotten used to this. Even if he spoke, the other side wouldn't hear him. He couldn't be bothered any longer. Although I don't know where you are, I can sense your existence. However, the barrier between the ten planar worlds is weakening, and spastime is chaotic. It's difficult for me to transmit my voice to you. Perhaps you've already gotten tired of hearing this, but let me repeat myself. Time is running out. If you cannot grow up before the ten planar worlds are destroyed, everything will be over. The endless darkness faded and Long Chen opened his eyes. Rubbing his face, he self-mockingly said, I can't even look after myself right now. How am I supposed to look after the ten planar worlds? What a joke. This voice had first appeared in the Phoenix Cry Empire, but even now, he didn't understand what it was saying. Each time, the voice said time was running out. But so what? What did it have to do with him? He was busy struggling on the border of death himself and couldn't bother with that. Sometimes, he even suspected the voice had gotten the wrong person. Perhaps it had gotten mixed up with someone else called Long Chen? Suddenly, his spiritual space shook. The heaven-flipping seal appeared in front of him, and it unleashed waves of cyan light that enveloped him. Thank you. If it hadn't been for you, I'd have been doomed. Long Chen patted the heaven-flipping seal gratefully. This time had truly been too dangerous. If the heaven-flipping seal hadn't woken at the right time, he would be dead. If he had to die, then fine. But falling into their hands would mean death would become something very luxurious for him. They would definitely make him live a life worse than death. The heaven-flipping seal's cyan light revolved around him. It was like a child trying to hug him. Its item spirit was created by Long Chen, and it had a great dependence on him. There was no need to doubt its loyalty. Otherwise, a divine item wouldn't allow its divine energy to be sucked away by another. The quality of this brick is good. It's a very decent half-step divine item. However, its original item spirit died, and the new item spirit doesn't understand how to use its power. It can only be used to blindly smash others, said Evil Moon. Then it'll be up to you. Long Chen smiled. Up to me? You couldn't possibly expect of course. Teach the heaven flipping seal how to use its power. Only you're capable of that. So it's up to you. Why would I bother teaching it? I don't have the patience. Evil Moon directly refused. You will teach it. If you want to get stronger. If you want your seal to be undone. If you want to return to your former glory. You'll have to depend on it. Said Long Chen confidently. Although he didn't fully understand divine items. He had learned much during this time. For the safety of the master. As well as the safety of this world. Divine items had to be restricted. Otherwise. If a divine item were to betray its master. It might destroy this entire world. However, the heaven-flipping seal was different. Long Chen hadn't placed any restrictions on the heaven-flipping seal when creating its item spirit. Other divine items had a trace of their spirits controlled by someone. Once the divine item went out of control, destroying that trace of spirit would destroy the item spirit. This was the contractual binding on divine items. Divine items were just too powerful. If they betrayed their masters, they could bring about an apocalypse. But Long Chen hadn't done the same to the Heaven Flipping Seal. The Heaven Flipping Seal had no restrictions and was capable of fully unleashing all of its power, which resulted in such a terrifying force. It was just that it still didn't know how to use its power. Otherwise, its first attack wouldn't have killed just one person. It was very likely that other than Chi Yuneo who was in possession of the powerful Violet Gold Soul Devouring Staff, all the others would have died to it. That was why Evil Moon had cursed it for being stupid. 
If Long Chen had simply allowed it to blindly smash its opponents, they wouldn't have been able to get away. However, while not restricting it gave it greater power, it also was extremely dangerous. If one day the Heaven Flipping Seal wanted to leave Long Chen, without any restriction, Long Chen wouldn't be able to stop it. He might even be killed by it. The reason other people's divine items weren't able to unleash their true power wasn't because they weren't strong enough, but because they were restricted. Their power was under the control of Life Star Experts, and because Life Star Experts weren't strong enough, they were only able to unleash a portion of that power. If they tried using power beyond their control, there would be a danger to their own lives. Furthermore, due to this restriction, and a portion of their spirit being under someone else's control, the intelligence of those divine items was restricted. They would be like children and wouldn't have many thoughts about wanting freedom. Although this limited their power, it was safe. As a result, practically all divine items were like this. This included Evil Moon. A trace of its spirit had been extracted by Sovereign Yun Shang and sealed. If Long Chen didn't undo its seal, its spirit would never return to a complete state, and it would never reach its peak again. The Sovereign Blood hadn't just sealed Evil Moon's power, but it was also the key to Long Chen being able to control it. Although Long Chen had a deal with Evil Moon, the initiative was still in Long Chen's control. What do you mean? demanded Evil Moon frostily. I don't mean anything in particular. I'm not threatening you. You know my character, and you know I disdain doing such a thing. It's simply that helping the heaven flipping seal is also helping yourself. Once I'm strong enough, I will undo the seal and return your freedom, said Long Chen. Really Evil Moon's voice quivered slightly. I disdain lying. I can return your freedom, but you'll need to promise me not to bring disaster to the martial heaven continent. You can simply return to wherever you came from, said Long Chen. You're not tricking me, demanded Evil Moon. There's no need for me to do that. You might be strong, but you aren't even able to defeat a sovereign. You won't be able to stay with me for long, said Long Chen indifferently. What is that supposed to mean? Are you abandoning me because I'm useless raged Evil Moon? You're too sensitive. I'm not looking down on you. It's just that my goal is to surpass the sovereigns. This is Sovereign Yun Shang's expectations for me. If I am not able to surpass the sovereigns, I'll die sooner or later. There are still many things for me to do. So I want to live. And to live, I have to get stronger, said Long Chen solemnly, as well as with some chilling killing intent. It wasn't that he was vicious, but that this world was simply forcing him to be like this. If he wasn't vicious enough, he wouldn't be able to live. Today. He was bluntly expressing his attitude to Evilman. He hoped they could cooperate fully. He truly did need a powerful helper. He was alone, while his enemies were too powerful. Evil Moon was silent for a long time before it said, Fine, I'll trust you once. I will help you with my full abilities. But you must return my freedom to me when the time comes. If you dare to trick me, I'll sacrifice my soul to unleash the ancient evil dragon curse on you. Long Chen smiled slightly. Don't worry, I'm not such a person. We aren't suited to tricking others. Right. Fine. Then we can cooperate fully. I trust someone that Yun Shang favors won't be too useless, said Evil Moon. Long Chen was much more at ease now. Evil Moon might belong to the evil dragon race, and while it possessed its sinister and bloodthirsty nature, Long Chen also felt it to possess the pride of the dragon race. Once it decided on something, it wouldn't change its mind so easily. It wasn't likely to betray him in that manner. Evil Moon, according to your predictions, how long will it take for the Heaven Flipping Seal to control its power and become our trump card? Asked Long Chen. It's like a child right now. It'll take a long time for it to learn how to control its power. Furthermore, although its item spirit is complete, it hasn't activated many of its runes. What it used was only the remnant divine runes from before its original item spirit died. After that one ridiculous attack as well as helping me break out of the Brahma divine diagram seal, it doesn't even have a tenth of its divine energy. It's not able to help temporarily, said Evil Moon. What Long Chen was stunned. He had originally been hoping for the heaven flipping seal to become his trump card during this time. So this was quite the blow. Unfortunately it was also very normal. 
The heaven-flipping seal was a very powerful half-step divine item and was even stronger than the violet gold soul-devouring staff, but it would need to slowly activate its divine runes and gain control of them before being able to unleash its true potential. Fine, then I'll leave it to you. Don't be too vicious, said Long Chen with a warning. He didn't want the heaven-flipping seal to be scarred by Evil Moon's teaching, as expected. The Heaven Flipping Seal's item spirit was a bit afraid of Evil Moon. Long Chen had to comfort it before he sent it and Evil Moon into his spiritual space. Having formed a true promise of cooperation between himself and Evil Moon, Long Chen wasn't so defensive toward it. He allowed it into his spiritual space. He could oversee everything there and make sure Evil Moon didn't treat the Heaven Flipping Seal too badly. Evil Moon controlled its temper as best as it could as it tried to teach the Heaven Flipping Seal how to control its divine energy. The Heaven Flipping Seal nervously received its lessons. After arranging this, Long Chen sank into thought. Suddenly, his expression changed. Would Heavenly Fate Island target his parents who were hidden in the eastern wasteland? When he thought of this, he immediately became uneasy, taking out a flying boat. He determined his orientation and rushed off toward the east. Chapter 1515 Divine Orders Translator Born to be he got away. Within a large palace, the vice palace master of the flame divine palace had his head lowered. He was silent, not daring to speak. There were over ten other elders present, and they were all shocked. At the highest position of the palace was a throne. A middle-aged man was sitting on top of it. His eyes closed in thought. This middle-aged man was Pill Valley's master, Yu Ziaoyan. At this point, his eyes were closed after hearing the vice palace master's report. It was unknown what he was thinking. Beside Yu Ziaoyan stood a beautiful woman. She was Pill Valley's top beauty, as well as their top genius, the Pill Fairy, Yu Kingsuan. At this time, Yu Kingsuan had a complicated expression. She didn't know why her father had invited her here. But after listening to the Vice Palace Master's report, she couldn't help feeling a bit helpless. However, she didn't say anything. What is your Flame Divine Palace worth if you couldn't even catch Long Chen with that many people, that many divine items, and even the Brahma Divine Diagram? You've lost the face of Pill Valley, said a Grand Elder frostily. The Flame Divine Palace is getting worse and worse. The 18 Divine Guards weren't able to capture Long San. 18 late life star experts, and you still didn't manage to capture him. Now even the vice palace master was unable to capture Long Chen even with that many divine items. If it were me, I wouldn't even have the face to return, added another elder. If Long Chen was present, he'd definitely be very surprised. These two elders were actually from the radical faction and the conservative faction respectively. They were in tune now against the flame divine palace. All of you. Stop placing blame. It isn't the Vice Palace Master's fault. I saw everything that happened through the Brahma Divine Diagram. That Long Chen's extremely strange. Not only does he possess that evil weapon, but he also took out another powerful divine item at a critical moment. If my memory is correct, that divine item might be the heaven flipping divine brick whose name shook the land during the Dark Era. It is also called the heaven flipping seal. Yu Ziaoyan waved his hand suppressing their mocking and grumbling. The heaven flipping seal? Didn't it meet its end in the dark era along with the heaven flipping venerate? Another elder let out a startled cry. The heaven flipping seal's name was familiar to him as well. The heaven flipping venerate died, but there are no records of what happened to the heaven flipping seal. People simply assumed it was destroyed, but there was no proof to back it up. Looking at the history of the continent, the only one to use a cyan brick as a weapon was the Heaven Flipping Venerate. Most likely, the only cyan brick that could possess that much power is the Heaven Flipping Seal, said Yu Ziaoyan. Everyone was shocked. The Heaven Flipping Seal was a very well-known existence amongst divine items. Its power was extremely great. How could Long Chen have obtained another terrifying treasure? This Long Chen's luck is heaven-defying. He has countless secrets and he even obtained the second volume of the Nirvana scripture. We have to capture him alive and can't let him fall into other people's hands, said a grand elder. Long Chen had so many secrets that it made them uneasy. Just Evil Moon and the Heaven Flipping Seal were enough to entice countless people, 
and Pill Valley was no exception. Are we capturing Long Chen because he slaughtered the people on his own side or because he possesses priceless treasures? The silent pill fairy finally spoke. But as soon as she did, everyone else was embarrassed. Cough. Of course it's because Long Chen is an evil sinner. We are doing this to remove a disaster for the common people and protect the peace of the continent. If such a terrifying weapon was left in the hands of Long Chen, it would be a disaster for the continent. We are both punishing an evildoer and protecting the innocent. That is our duty, said an elder with great righteousness. The pill fairy smiled. That smile was indescribably odd. It was so strange that everyone present felt a slight burning sensation in their faces. All right, I've been informed. Elder Tong Li, go take a trip to Heavenly Fate Island again. I'll leave this matter to you, said Yu Ziaoyan. The elder Tong Li was the one who had righteously answered the pill fairy's question. The others can go and handle your own business. Yu Ziaoyan waved his hand, and everyone retreated, leaving behind only himself and the pill fairy. Father and daughter. The pill fairy stared at the empty space within the grand palace. Her eyes stared absently, and it was unknown what she was thinking. Yu Ziaoyan also seemed to be lost in thought. The drop of a single pin could be heard in the palace. Do you want to tell me what you think? Finally, it was Yu Ziaoyan who broke the silence. The pill fairy shook her head. What I think isn't important. I can't change your decision. I feel like a fool. Oh? What are you talking about? Asked Yu Ziaoyan. If Long Chen was present, he would definitely find it strange. The pill fairy had always been full of reverence for her father. As for Yu Ziaoyan, he felt sorry for his daughter for not being there for her. The two of them loved each other, yet their tone now was very strange. I always thought that Pill Valley was this world's sacred and holy land. I didn't expect it to be a place filled with hidden rot and corruption. Every person here is a hypocrite. Before, everything I saw was just what others wanted me to see. But one day I saw him. He was like a mirror, showing me how twisted Pill Valley was. The Pill Fairy's voice shuddered lightly as she was unable to fully control her emotions. She continued, I almost can't believe that what I'm seeing is true. Now you tell me that the conservative and the radical faction were nothing more than a pretense. While everything was under your control, everything the radical faction did was tacitly accepted by you. I really can't understand why you would do this. Are you really trying to gain control of this entire world? Yu Ziaoyan slowly stood and walked until he was facing the pill fairy. He felt somewhat guilty as he said. Kingsuan, I didn't trick you on purpose. This is simply reality. Now that you're older, you need to face reality. Pill Valley doesn't belong to us, but to God Brahma and God Daynight. Everything I do is following their divine orders. Divine orders. Correct. So don't blame your father. You've grown up, and your Empyrean manifestation is already showing signs of awakening. You are the divine emissary decided by the gods. So I have no way to let you continue living a carefree life. I can only let you see reality. Perhaps it's a bit cruel, but you would have to face it sooner or later. Hence, showing you these things is just a kind of preparation. Sighed Yu Ziaoyan. Dad, what is going on? I don't understand. The pill fairy was still confused. All you need to know is that you are your father's daughter. I definitely won't harm you. And if anyone tries to do so. I will put my life on the line to protect you. However, you need to learn about this world's rules. They are very cruel, but they must be followed. No one can resist them. Yu Ziaoyan gently touched his daughter's cheek helplessly. Go back into seclusion. Once you fully awaken your Empyrean manifestation, you will receive the divine orders as well. You'll understand everything at that time. Yu Ziaoyan waved his hand, and runes enveloped the pill fairy. In spite of her expression which said that she wished to keep talking, he forcibly sent her away. The pill fairy vanished, leaving behind only Yu Ziaoyan. In the large palace, he appeared very lonely. Yu Ziaoyan looked around and sighed, muttering to himself. The divine orders say that a new era is about to descend. This is the best era but also the worst era. Whether it will be a blessing or a disaster, no one knows. A single flying boat rapidly sped across the martial heaven sea ring. It was going in a straight line and was causing large waves to surge. Long Chen couldn't be bothered with the dangers of the sea. 
He pushed the flying boat's speed to its peak. He didn't care if he drew the attention of the sea demons. He had to return to the eastern wasteland as quickly as possible. Long Chen knew his own weakness, and others knew it as well. The Zhuangshan Dao sect had vanished. Of the other powers that were related to him, the Huaian sect was an existence no one dared to touch, and the Wine God Palace was such an existence as well. As for the Heaven Splitting Battle sect, they were a bunch of fighting madmen. No one wanted to provoke them, because that was provoking death. Now, the only ones that they could use to threaten him were his father and mother in the eastern wasteland. This was his weakest point right now. If his parents were captured, his enemies would have truly caught him. His father, his mother, and his sister were holed up in a secluded mountain. Only he knew their position. It was a secret no one else knew. Now, Heavenly Fate Island had been thrown into the mix. With their abilities, it would be easy for them to calculate the position of his parents. So he had to rush back as quickly as possible. Hopefully, he'd make it in time and they would still be safe. Despite being a warrior of a hundred battles, Long Chen was still very worried. He was unable to understand how they had managed to calculate where he would be for this trap. According to reason, a divine item like Evil Moon was more than capable of screening itself from the heavens. Back then, Li Xiangxuan had done the same thing with the reincarnation mirror blocking others from being able to read the lines of fate of the Zhuangshan Dao sect that had resulted in Xuan Jizi miscalculating and resulted in the corrupt path being dealt a vicious blow on Devil Spirit Mountain. For existences on the level of Evil Moon, others wouldn't possibly be able to calculate anything about it or him, but somehow they had, and Long Chen had almost lost his life. That made him feel a sense of danger. What he didn't know was that when Heavenly Fate Island received a request from Pill Valley's master to calculate his position, that Grand Master had ended up exploding as soon as he tried. There had been no warning at all. That had frightened all their people, as they had never encountered such a thing. That Grand Master had been a life star expert skilled in reading the heavens, but he had met with a terrifying backlash and was killed without the slightest ability to resist. At that time, Heavenly Fate Island had declared that they wouldn't calculate anything about him no matter what. He was such a fearful figure that just calculating anything about him resulted in a karmic backlash. No matter what Pill Valley said, they refused. Chapter 1516 Failure to Subdue Translator Born to be at that time, someone had come up with a plan to not calculate Long Chen's position but to calculate which sects or powers that were about to be destroyed within the eastern Xuan region. Pill Valley had given them a list of sects that had attacked Long Chen within the eastern Xuan city. By calculating the fate of those sects, it was possible to determine which one would be Long Chen's next stop. In the end, they had really ended up calculating that the next one to be destroyed would be the Shaw family, but the calculations were muddled, and it was impossible to confirm anything for sure. Then after calculating the lines of fate of the other sects, they found that those sects wouldn't be destroyed in a short time. So they confirmed that Long Chen's next target would be the Shaw family. That was why Pill Valley had gathered its forces and laid a secret trap at the Shaw family, lying in wait for Long Chen. Being unaware of this, Long Chen thought that Heavenly Fate Island had some special ability to peer through the shielding of divine items, which allowed them to calculate his next move. That made him very uneasy. What he was most afraid of was Pill Valley's next move. If they really did target his parents, then it would be over for him. He pushed his flying boat as fast as he could, and it sped through the water. It was unknown if it was because it was too quick or because it came from Pill Valley. But no sea demons came out to stop him. Wait, this place is... Long Chen suddenly sensed something and hastily took out a map. This is near where the Azure Dragon reverse scale is. Long Chen immediately changed directions to the left. He put away the flying boat and charged into the water, swimming down. Last time, due to his cultivation base, he was very slow to descend. This time, it only took an incense stick's worth of time to reach the depths of the sea. The initial water pressure that had been suffocating was now nothing. This is an Azure Dragon reverse scale. A startled cry came from Evil Moon in his spiritual space. The dragon scale still had a barrier around it. Back then, he had been helpless to enter because this barrier was formed of dragon might. 
Other than great defensive power, it possessed the pressure of the draconic bloodline. When he approached it, he clearly felt his blood flowing faster. When he tried to charge through the barrier, it felt like he had entered thicker water, but it didn't take him much effort to enter. However, he felt his blood flow even faster, and his hair stood on end. His blood vessels began to bulge alarmingly. Don't tell me you're trying to subdue that Azure Dragon reverse scale, said Evil Moon with shock. Yes, I want to try it. Long Chen nodded. Then you should wait a moment. First, bring me and the heaven flipping seal out. Otherwise, no one will be here to gather your corpse, said Evil Moon. Hmm, <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Asked Long Chen. What I mean is, if you try to subdue it, you'll die without a doubt. No way. What do you mean? No way? That's an Azure Dragon Reverse Scale. It's completely different from the Green Dragon Reverse Scale. Green Dragons are what you call a baby dragon, while Azure Dragons are grown-ups. The difference in power between them is more than 10,000 times. Furthermore, when the Azure Dragon Reverse Scale sheds, it's the molting of when the dragon rises to a higher realm. It contains the will of that molting. The Green Dragon Scale only needed you to form a resonance with it to subdue it as it fell naturally as part of the growth process. But the Azure Dragon Reverse Scale contains the berserk will of its molting, and you must suppress that with brute strength. Let me put it to you this way. When the Azure Dragon molts, it goes through dragon tribulation, and it is far beyond your imagination. This Reverse Scale fell from the Azure Dragon only after it went through its dragon tribulation. So it contains the will of the Azure Dragon fighting against the Heavenly Deos. Anyone or anything that tries to subdue it will face intense resistance. Even its original owner would be no exception. Whoever this scale is from, they were definitely an extremely pure-blooded dragon. Even without my body of flesh and blood, I can sense the dragon might coming from it. If you don't want to die, don't try this. After all, we just established a solid cooperation relationship. I don't really want you to die, said Evil Moon sincerely. It didn't want him to die? That was a strange way of saying something like that. Long Chen didn't bother quibbling over that though. I can sense a reaction from my own blood. I feel like this scale is very likely from the same dragon as the original green dragon reverse scale I obtained, said Long Chen. So what? I'm telling you, after going through the dragon tribulation, this scale is a separate entity, let alone you. Even its original master would have to use brute power to subdue it. Even if you advanced to the life star realm, you wouldn't necessarily be able to subdue it. I'm from the dragon race, so don't you think I know more about this topic than you? Why are you arguing against me over this? Are you afraid I'm trying to harm you? Demanded Evil Moon. It was a bit angry now that Long Chen didn't trust what it was saying. As a prideful being, that was unacceptable. Fine. I'll listen to you. I just want to touch it. Long Chen reached out and touched the Azure Dragon Scale. When he touched it, he silently circulated the energy in his blood, trying to form a bloodline resonance with it. With Evil Moon's warning, he gave up any thoughts of immediately subduing it. Right now, all he wanted was to use his bloodline energy to form a closer connection to the scale and pull it into the primal chaos space. When his hand touched it, the jade-like dragon scale began to shine. That light enveloped Long Chen's hand. In that instant, he felt his dragon blood flowing even faster. But he didn't sense any danger. There is a way. Long Chen was delighted. He slowly circulated the primal chaos bead, preparing to move it into the primal chaos space. In that instant, the soft light of the dragon scale vanished. The scale instantly became like a wild beast, and a fierce aura erupted. Long Chen's arms exploded in mangled bits, and he coughed up a mouthful of blood. He felt like his body was about to shatter. Horrified, he hastily tried to retreat. However, he suddenly found that the dragon scale was pulling him back in. He couldn't retreat. At the same time, lines began to surge on top of the scale. He could vaguely see the image of a huge white dragon roaring through a sea of lightning, its huge claw striking the dome of the heavens. A sensation of death enveloped Long Chen. No matter how he resisted, he couldn't get away. A black saber image slashed into the dragon scale. The saber image instantly exploded. But thanks to it, the suction force decreased. 
and Long Chen managed to pull out of the region of the Azure Dragon reverse scale. Long Chen's heart was pounding, and he was pale. His upper body was a mangled mess, and his bones were covered in tiny cracks, looking like they might shatter at any moment. HMPH, you deserve it. Now you'll listen when I speak. Evil Moon's voice rang out, containing a hint of mockery. It was quite satisfied to see Long Chen suffer after not listening to it. Noveloon.com Fine, I should have listened to you. I deserve it. Long Chen nodded, taking one glance back at the quiet dragon scale floating at the bottom of the sea. He swam back up. He activated the flying boat and began rushing back to the eastern wasteland. He healed using the primal chaos bead. Evil Moon. How many realms does a true dragon have? How is the second realm already so powerful? The image of the huge white dragon tearing through the heavens with its claw had been truly shocking. I don't want to talk about the true dragons. All you need to know is that even with your power and control over lightning, trying to subdue it before reaching the life star realm would be purely courting death, said Evil Moon. Every time Long Chen asked anything about the true dragon race or why the evil dragon race had betrayed the dragon race, Evil Moon would shut its mouth and refuse to say a word. The Life Star Realm. That's too far. Long Chen sighed. With his current cultivation speed, he didn't know how many years it would take to reach the Life Star Realm. After reaching the 10th vestige of the Jade Core Realm, his cultivation base had essentially stopped advancing. He had run out of the useful medicinal pills from Pill Valley, and now, no matter how many pills he consumed, his cultivation base didn't increase. That wasn't because he had been slacking, but because the amount of energy required to advance to the next level was ridiculous. As he sped through the sea, no sea demons stopped him. He quickly arrived at the storm region. Seeing that, Long Chen felt a wave of emotion. He had finally returned to the eastern wasteland. He didn't slow down. Using the flying boat's powerful defenses, he tore straight through the storm zone. After going through, he quickly saw a stretch of land. That familiar scene made him feel homesick. Slightly correcting his direction, his flying boat sped off. In just an hour, he put it away and took out his lightning wings. After half an incense stick's worth of time, he arrived at a small village. Seeing this village, Long Chen's heart pounded. His divine sense swept through it, but he didn't find any aura of his parents or sister. Have they already been captured? Long Chen's expression changed. Chapter 1517 The Warmth of Family Translator Born to be Long Chen hastily spread his divine sense, and his hard gaze quickly softened. He managed to find them. They were living in a simple thatched hut on a hillside a few dozen miles from the village. The small courtyard outside of the hut was filled with sprouting vegetables. Not far from it, one could also see a stretch of orchard that was blocked by a wooden fence. It was a quiet and content place, isolated from the clamor of the world. There was a woman in the orchard, picking a newly ripened fruit, rubbing it clean with a towel. She handed it to a girl beside her. This girl looked to be around eight or nine years old. Her hair was tied in two small pigtails and she had a pair of pure and innocent eyes. Mom, you spent all day weeding. You should eat the first one, said the girl cutely. Ziaoyu, I'm not tired. This is the first ripened fruit of the orchard. You have to taste it to see if it's good or not. The woman smiled lovingly. No, you have to eat it first. Otherwise, I won't eat it either, the girl insisted. The woman smiled. You really are just like your brother. So stubborn. The woman helplessly took a small bite of the fruit before handing it to the girl. Only then did the girl happily receive the fruit and take a big bite of it. The fruit's juice dripped down her face, but she was very happy with the taste. Eat slower. A young lady must be refined. You can't eat so inelegantly. You really are just like your brother. The woman lightly rebuked the girl. Taking out a handkerchief, she wiped the juices off the girl's face. The girl seemed to be used to it and continued happily eating the fruit. Mom, you said my brother went out to study and he'll return when his studies are finished. How come he still isn't back? The fruit's already ripe, and if he doesn't come back, he won't make it. Suddenly, the girl sensed that she had said the wrong thing as her mother's eyes turned red. Mom, I'm sorry. The woman slowly knelt and looked the girl in the eye. 
Your big brother Long Chen is working hard at his studies. He's just like you, a smart and thoughtful child. If he hasn't returned, it just means he's still working hard. Once he succeeds he'll definitely come back to see us. Mom, your unfilial son has returned. At this moment, an equally emotional voice rang out not far from her. The woman's whole body shook as she slowly turned around. She saw that at some unknown time, a tall, handsome young man had appeared behind her. The immaturity that had been present on this face the last time she had seen it had been removed by the passing of time. It was still the same face, but after going through hardships, it looked different. The things that hadn't changed were those emotional eyes. Chen or Long Chen's mother felt like she was dreaming. Mom, your child has been unfilial tears flowed out of Long Chen's eyes. He was filled with guilt as he was truly an unfilial son. He had a thousand things he wanted to say, but he wasn't able to say any of them. Chen or it really is you. Mrs. Long was also crying as she held Long Chen. She held him tightly as if she were afraid he would fly away. No matter how high his cultivation base rose, no matter how his name shook the land, he would always be a child in front of his mother. Within his mother's embrace, all his emotions spilled out like a dam that had been opened. In front of his brothers and beauties, he was the most dependable companion. In front of his enemies, he was fierce and vicious, striking fear into their hearts with just his name. Only in front of his mother was he neither an unrivaled hero nor a fierce fiend. He was just a completely ordinary child. Ever since he had stepped onto the path of cultivation, he had never lowered his head in the face of the countless obstacles and setbacks. Even in front of the slander of the entire world, he could wave it off with a smile. With his mother, it was like he had returned to his childhood, and all his grievances spilled out. Only in his mother's embrace could he feel warmth and comfort. Good child, don't cry. As long as you're back, everything's fine. Ziaoyu, why are you hiding? Haven't you been missing your brother every day? Now your brother's back. Do you not recognize him? After a while of crying, Mrs. Long helped Long Chen wipe away his tears as well as her own. Only then did she see Long Ziaoyu hiding behind her, stealthily staring at Long Chen. When Long Chen looked at her, she hid herself completely, seemingly afraid of him. This child, sighed Mrs. Long. Ziaoyu, do you not remember me? I brought you a gift, enticed Long Chen. I remember you, but you look different. You're too frightening Anne. You don't look quite the same. Ziaoyu stuck out her head to glance at Long Chen before retracting it once more. Long Chen bitterly smiled. After all these years, his appearance hadn't changed that much. However, although his aura was suppressed right now, he had slaughtered too many people. Perhaps his mother was unable to sense it, but a child's pure nature was very sensitive to such a thing. For her to feel afraid of him was instinctual. Long Chen took out a small ball. Rainbow light roved around it, and flowers of light blossomed on it repeatedly. He smiled. This is a gift I prepared specially for you. Do you like it? Yes, it had been prepared specially, but the amount of time he had spent preparing was rather short. Actually, it was just a few breaths time. As soon as Long Chen had seen Ziaoyu, he had had the Blazing Dragon Cauldron work with Huo Long to refine this special medicinal pill. It was a ninth tier medicinal pill, but in reality, it had no medicinal effect. It was not used for consuming but for testing an alchemist's control over their pill flame and spiritual strength. The greater their control over their pill flame and spiritual strength when refining this pill, the more beautiful the end result would be. This pill was purely used to test an alchemist's talent. However, the quality was so high that some extra lines had appeared on it, making it appear even more glorious and attractive. It was as enticing as a shining pearl, but that pearl now seemed to possess its own life let alone a child, even an adult would be drawn over by it. When Ziaoyu saw this fun object, it was unknown whether her aversion toward him had vanished or not, but she accepted it. Your father's fishing beside the river. You should go see him. Mrs. Long Chen was extremely happy to see Long Chen return, and she wanted her husband to be happy too. Father really is in an interesting mood. He can calm down enough to fish. Long Chen was surprised by this as well as a bit sad. Back in the day, 
Long Shiang Xiao had been the Phoenix Cry Empire's famous and powerful border suppression Marquis. He had used his great power and leadership abilities to protect the borders from the invading barbarians. He had been a brilliant warrior, but now he was forced to live in seclusion within the wild mountains. That made Long Chen feel guilty. This was all because of him. He's actually gotten in a better mood after coming here. Back in the Phoenix Cry Empire, we often bickered. But your father actually seems much calmer now. He lets me have my way most of the time. Perhaps a person's environment can really change them. We're now in the Green Mountains, living a carefree life away from the struggle of the world. We don't have to worry every day like when we were in the Phoenix Cry Empire, and your father is no longer busy with work all day. He likes living this comfortable life, although he wasn't a bit used to it at the start. We both feel very satisfied with our current lives. Mrs. Long smiled at Long Chen. After undergoing huge upheavals, a person's frame of mind would change. Mrs. Long was like that. This was precisely the kind of life that she wanted. Her husband and daughter were beside her from sunrise to sunset, and each day passed peacefully. These days were ordinary, but they were happy. Hearing this, Long Chen's guilt was alleviated slightly. He asked them why they had moved from the village to this place. Those villagers are actually very nice. At first, they warmly welcomed us, and your father helped them with hunting. But later, the flavor changed. Although your father didn't expose his status as a cultivator, the villagers sensed that he was particularly powerful. Each day, he would bring back as much as a month's worth of hunting spoils from several other people. Plus, there was no danger to anyone's lives. It was very easy, Mrs. Long sighed. A slight sneer appeared on Long Chen's face, and then they grew dependent on him, saying that since he was so powerful, why didn't he go hunting some more and split what he couldn't finish with them? Mrs. Long nodded. As soon as Long Chen had heard the start, he had known the conclusion. Long Chen shook his head. This is moral extortion. They feel that stronger people should put in more effort and that wealthy people should donate their wealth more. They don't realize that this kind of thinking turns them into parasites without the slightest feeling of urgency or danger to better themselves. If they lose their parasitic target, they simply end up dying. Other people can help you for a while, but they can't help you for a lifetime. Father was right to leave the village. If they relied on him too much, it would result in apathy from them. But I trust when he left, he had to have been cursed quite a bit. Hair. Hey. If you help someone once you're a good person, but if you help them a thousand times and then don't help them once, you're an irredeemable devil. Viewing other people's help as simply proper without being grateful is a common problem in this world. Chen Er, you have really grown up. Mrs. Long sighed emotionally upon hearing Long Chen speak with such frank assurance. Long Chen was no longer that willful child. He had matured but perhaps too much. Mom, can you make some food? I'll go find dad. Let's have a proper meal together. You should know that I dream about your cooking. Long Chen smiled. All right, then I'll make your favorite pork with spring bamboo. Mrs. Long smiled and returned to the grass hut. Long Xiaoya was playing with the medicinal pill delightedly. She was a bit enraptured and didn't even pay attention to Long Chen. Helplessly, Long Chen walked to the riverside on his own. Chapter 1518 A Father's Teachings Translator Born to be the river was only a few dozen meters wide, and the water was very clear and slow running. It reflected the surrounding mountains. A person was sitting on a rock beside the river. He had a fishing rod in his hand and he was staring at the ripples coming from the float on the river. A fish was currently teasing the hook. Most fish would test the bait a couple of times before eating it to confirm it was edible. Suddenly, the float sank and the fishing rod bent. The fish had taken the bait. Ha ha ha, my luck's pretty good today. I got a big fish. He laughed heartily. His voice was still heroic and unrestrained. He was the old border suppressing Marquis of the Phoenix Cry Empire. Long Shiang Xiao. A two foot long fish flew out of the water. Long Shiang Xiao pulled fiercely. The fish was strong, but it was pulled over by Long Shiang Xiao in just a short moment. He caught it in a net. This fish had to be over 10 pounds. Such a catch was quite rare. Delighting Long Shiang Xiao. Now Xiaoya will have a good snack. Long Shiang Xiao smiled. Yup. I'll also have a good snack. 
A voice rang out behind Long Shiang Xiao. Long Shiang Xiao jumped, almost dropping the fish. He saw a black robed man smiling at him. Chen Er, you're back. Long Shiang Xiao dropped the fish and grabbed Long Chen's arms, shaking him fiercely, his eyes reddening. Little brat, you're getting quite strong. With Long Shiang Xiao's power, how could he possibly shake Long Chen? Although Long Chen had given Long Shiang Xiao some medicinal pills to change his constitution, his innate talent was limited. Even now, he hadn't broken through to the Xianchen realm. Yes, if I wasn't strong, I would be suppressed by others. How else am I supposed to block the wind and rain? Long Chen smiled. Back when Long Chen was a child, Long Shiang Xiao would always give his share of meat to Long Chen often saying that men needed to grow up strong to shield others from the wind and rain. Now, Long Chen was no longer that small child. He had become a true expert. Have you seen your mother and sister yet? Asked Long Shiang Xiao. I saw them first, said Long Chen. Good, let's go home. You really came back at the right time. This small river has a kind of fish called the golden mouth catfish. Ordinary catfish live in dirty water and eat rotten meat. Its meat is like mud and has a bad mouth feel. There's also a strange taste to it. But these golden mouth catfish eat the fruit that drops to the top of the river. Their meat is delicious and feels good as it flows down your throat. Today, my luck is good. And I actually caught such a big one. It seems the heavens knew you would be back and specially prepared it for me. Ha ha ha. Laughed Long Shiang Xiao. Long Chen smiled self-mockingly. If the heavens had known he was coming back. It probably would have been impossible to fish up anything at all. He helped his father carry the net. Other than the golden mouth catfish, there were a dozen other random fish. There was definitely enough to eat. If the golden mouth catfish tastes so good, why don't I catch a few extra? Asked Long Chen. With his current power, catching fish didn't take any effort. If he wanted to, he could pick this entire river clear. No, no, then it wouldn't have any meaning. Fishing is a kind of pleasure, not a means of survival. These two things must be differentiated. Long Shiang Xiao walked alongside Long Chen as he slowly said, Although your cultivation base is higher and you're stronger, your mental realm hasn't progressed. That isn't a good thing. Dad, are you transmitting your teachings to me? Long Chen smiled. What? Because your cultivation base is higher, you're looking down on me, demanded Long Shiang Xiao humorously. How could I dare? In front of you, I will never strike or curse back when you beat and curse me, laughed Long Chen. Little brat, wasn't that because you were too naughty? If we weren't strict enough and instead indulged you, you'd have long since ascended, scolded Long Shiang Xiao. Long Chen laughed and didn't argue. To be scolded by his father was a kind of blessing as well. They quickly arrived at the grass hut, and they saw Long Xiaoyu playing with the medicinal pill throwing it high into the air. When it was thrown, the medicinal energy would ripple and unleash light similar to fireworks. She was so focused on it that she didn't even notice Long Shiang Xiao and Long Chen, making them speechless. There was a stone table outside the grass hut with four stone seats around it. Seeing that fourth seat, he knew it had been prepared for him this entire time, but it had gone empty. Even while he wasn't present, his family was always thinking of him. As for him, it had been so many years, but he hadn't even returned once. Mrs. Long ran out when Long Shiang Xiao returned, taking the golden mouth catfish. Seeing such a big one, she smiled. She told them to have some tea while she prepared the fish. Long Shiang Xiao took out a teapot and placed it on the stone table, steeping the tea. Long Chen hastily said, I have some good tea leaves here. Tea isn't differentiated by good or bad. What matters is the state of mind of the drinker. When it comes to fish, what matters isn't size, but what you want. Long Shiang Xiao shook his head and used his own tea leaves. Chen Er, you're too tired. I can see the weariness in your eyes. You need to adjust yourselves. Or if you continue like this, with your nerves tight constantly, you won't be able to release your burden. Your mind will close off. And when you encounter troublesome situations, you won't be able to make the correct decision. Although I don't know what you've experienced, I can feel that you're under too much pressure. If you stay in that state for too long, it'll cause problems. 
Long Shiang Xiao looked at Long Chen with some distress. Long Chen's worn down face couldn't conceal his weariness. However, he had also become an adult now and had his own world. Long Shiang Xiao could not block the wind and rain for him. Some stuff has really been causing me some trouble lately, and it feels a bit hard to breathe because of it, said Long Chen. As soon as he had returned to the martial heaven continent, he had seen the Zhuangshan Dao sect's destruction and become surrounded by powerful enemies that wanted to kill him. Practically, the entire eastern Xuan region was after him. Pill Valley, the ancient races, the ancient family alliance, and the Blood Kill Hall were all watching him. As for the corrupt path, they had been silent this whole time, but he knew they were plotting something. That was the most frightening thing. The open dangers could be defended against, but the enemies at your back would lie in wait until they could launch one fatal blow. This kind of pressure was something that would probably drive someone else mad. You're tired, said Long Shiang Xiao. Yes, a bit. Long Chen nodded. If you're tired, then stop for a moment. But I can't stop. Long Chen bitterly smiled. Why can't you stop? Do you still remember the first time you learned to swim? Long Shiang Xiao passed Long Chen a cup of tea. Long Chen received it. He scrunched his eyebrows. How could I not remember? Back then, you really were vicious and directly tossed me into the pool. I choked and floated on the water. I still remember you had a fierce fight with mother because of it. Long Shiang Xiao nodded. That's right. Your mother loved you too much to do that. But some things can't be taken step by step. That's why it just took you a few hours to learn how to swim. Although you were just two years old. I trust you remember everything at that time. Of course I remember. I remember your dark face very clearly. It was just as frightening as Yama King's face. Grumbled Long Chen. Long Shiang Xiao had truly been frightening at that time. If Long Chen had a son, he wouldn't be able to treat him like that. Long Shiang Xiao shook his head. It seems you don't remember enough. Do you still remember when I told you this? Life is like drowning. The more you panic, the more afraid you are, the more you struggle, the closer you are to death. Long Chen was startled. Now that Long Shiang Xiao brought it up, Long Chen truly did recall that he had said this. Your current situation is like drowning in a sea. You are struggling to maintain a moment's safety, but you are unable to escape the crisis. You can't see hope. That's why you're tired, because you can't see the shore or any islands. In this kind of situation, the more you struggle, the more energy you're wasting. Do you still remember how you managed to learn how to swim in just a few hours? Long Chen sank into thought. You told me that in a crisis, when no one else can help you, you have to learn a way to breathe for yourself. Once you get a chance to breathe, you adjust your current state to face the danger, instead of blindly fighting against the crisis. What you're saying is, yes, just like back then, you have to think of a way to breathe. Your nerves are tight all the time now, that won't help you, and it'll hold you back instead. You don't have a way to relax? That's just an excuse. You have to relax, and that's the only way you can face the next challenge better. When drowning, you have to find a way to breathe before learning how to swim. Only once you know how to breathe can you begin the race against time. With it, you'll be able to last longer on the waves. You can last until someone saves you, or until you reach the shore. Sometimes, the principles behind a single breath of air can be the foundation of the entire world cycle. The Tao is always right beside us, but most people turn a blind eye to it. So, Chen Er, don't be in such a rush to run. Sometimes, you have to stop and look at the scenery around you. You might even have to look back at your path. Then you might come to an enlightenment. Don't blindly follow the flow of the waves. Having a target doesn't mean you won't get lost. You have to comprehend your own Tao. Don't follow the same path that someone else walked. Because if you do, you won't surpass them. Chapter 1519 True Wisdom Translator Born to be Long Chen was deeply shocked. He hadn't thought that his father, who hadn't even reached the Xianchen realm, would have such a deep understanding of the heavenly Deos. His last sentence struck a special chord in Long Chen. He couldn't walk the same path as his predecessors, or he would never be able to surpass them. He had always relied on the pill sovereign memories, the nine-star hegemon body art, 
the dragon blood body tempering art, the nirvana scripture, and his other peerless techniques. He felt that these techniques were incomparably powerful, and that as long as he could comprehend them, he would be unrivaled. It was because he relied on them so much that he had never created his own mood. Now his father's words woke him up to this point. The paths of other people, no matter how far they managed to walk, would always come to an end eventually. What would Long Chen do once he reached the end? Was he supposed to just stop there? If he walked someone else's path, wouldn't their end also be his end? This was a problem he had never thought about. He had been too dependent on what he possessed. What if one day he couldn't progress in the nine-star hegemon body art any longer? Or what if the sixth star never revealed itself? Thank you for your teaching. Dad, you really are the wisest, said Long Chen respectfully. Wisdom doesn't mean anything. The difference between us is our viewpoints. You are looking from within, while I am looking from outside. I've escaped the clamor of the secular world. Each day, I go fishing or hunting, and I see Ziaoyu growing. These days have been the happiest days for me and your mother. By leaving the struggles of the world, by distancing yourself from the devils of your heart, you will be able to understand many things that you couldn't before, said Long Shiang Xiao. You're too modest. I've seen many people in the central plains, but only a few of them can match your intelligence, said Long Chen. That was truly the case. Although there were many experts with powerful cultivation bases and great power, in Long Chen's eyes, they were just a pack of strong fools. In terms of intelligence, the only ones he had ever admired were Sovereign Yun Shang, the High Priest, Li Xiangxuan, and now his father. Long Shiang Xiao shook his head. This so-called intelligence is just based on different viewpoints. One single kind of intelligence that can fully explain everything, doesn't exist. If it did, then that could only be called the heavenly deos, the lives of everything in the world, the myriad of deos, the interchange between life and death, the cycle of karma, heaven and earth. All right, stop talking about philosophy. Chenner's back and he didn't come back to hear that. Hurry up and tidy the table. The food's done. Mrs. Long came walking out with two plates of piping hot food. Long Chen hastily stood to put away the tea set, but he was stopped by his mother. Chen Er, let your father do it. He only stops talking about philosophy when he's working. That's the only way our ears have peace. Long Chen's expression was odd. He looked at Long Shiang Xiao only to see him shrug and wink. Sometimes. Keeping your mouth shut is true wisdom. The table was quickly filled with delicacies. There were four hot and four cool dishes, and they were all Long Chen's favorites. A large fish dish at the center was emitting an enticing scent. Gulp, gulp. Long Chen was startled. The first gulping sound was his, but the second wasn't. He looked down to see Xiaoyu had run over. Her eyes were shining as she stared at the food. The two of you really are the same when it comes to this laughed Mrs. Long. It's because we haven't had this much food in a long time, protested Xiaoyu. Long Chen was startled. He looked at Long Shiang Xiao. Was his family really too poor living here? Chen Er, you haven't experienced this kind of thing. Let me ask you, what is happiness? Asked Long Shiang Xiao. Happiness? I've never really thought about it. Long Chen scratched his head. Long Shiang Xiao smiled. In truth, Happiness is just a state of mind, a state where your desires are satisfied. It's very simple. For example, when a hungry person eats, when a thirsty person drinks, when a cold person is warmed, when a tired person has a place to rest, they will all feel happiness. But happiness doesn't last forever. It only stays for a short time. Once you are used to that happiness, you won't be able to feel it any longer. So the majority of the people who feel very unhappy, in truth, have food to eat, water to drink, warm clothes to wear, and a roof over their heads. They feel unhappy because they've forgotten what made them unhappy before. So if you want to be happier longer, you have to know what sadness is. I don't want to hear philosophy. I just know that right now I'm hungry and if I still don't eat, I'll starve to death cried Xiaoyu finally after being forced to wait for Long Shiang Xiao to finish speaking. Shiang Xiao, stop prattling, hurry and eat. In particular, the golden-mouthed catfish should be eaten while it's hot, said Mrs. Long. All right, 
Let's eat, said Long Shiang Xiao. The Long family's rules were very strict. They taught Xiaoyu that until the seniors touched their chopsticks, the juniors couldn't either. Only then did Xiaoyu move her chopsticks. But what Long Chen didn't expect was for her to immediately dig out a big piece of fish meat and put it in his bowl. Big brother, thank you for the ball. I like it a lot. I don't have anything good to give you. So you can eat this fish first. Xiaoyu stared at Long Chen very solemnly. Ah, thank you. Long Chen smiled. He liked his sister very much. And he also helped her pick out some food with his chopsticks. Long Chen, have some wine ah. You should have some good wine yourself. Right. Long Shiang Xiao was just about to open a jar of wine when he stopped himself. With your realm, wouldn't drinking anything be the same? Good wine is fine. Bad wine is whatever. The important point is the drinker's heart. Wasn't that what you said? Laughed Long Chen. This was exactly what Long Shiang Xiao had said about drinking tea. It seemed Long Shiang Xiao still found it difficult to resist good wine. Stop talking nonsense with me and bring out the wine, said a vexed Long Shiang Xiao. Long Chen laughed and took out two jugs of wine. They were from the wine god palace but weren't very powerful. They were made by a woman and instead of fiery heat, they contained a rich mellowness. If he brought out the wine made by the male disciples, Long Shiang Xiao might collapse after one taste. This wine in particular was called the Hundred Flower Wine. It was not true wine in the strictest sense and was not intoxicating, making it suitable for Mrs. Long and Xiaoyu to drink with them. The sky gradually turned dark, and birdsong surrounded them. This place was peaceful and warm. The grass hut only had two beds. One was for Long Shiang Xiao, while the other was for Mrs. Long and Xiaoyu. Long Chen directly made his bed on the floor. Long Shiang Xiao tried to switch with him, but Long Chen refused no matter what. With his current body, even if he were to lie in ice water, he wouldn't get cold. This night, Long Chen slept particularly soundly. He didn't remember the last time he had felt such a sense of true peace. Furthermore, through Long Shiang Xiao's instructions, he had a feeling like his heart was growing clearer. He had to continue his path, but he had to maintain a hopeful heart. If he couldn't find hope, then he still needed to find opportunities to relax. Even if he could only relax for a single breath, it was better than nothing. He couldn't let his heart feel exhausted like that. Making sure a blade was sharpened to its best state was half the battle. Only by maintaining that relaxed state of mind could he focus his best and face the oncoming challenges. This would increase his odds of victory invisibly. He slept late into the day. Long Shiang Xiao went out as soon as the sun rose saying he wanted to catch some different kinds of wild game and fruit for Long Chen to try. Mrs. Long accompanied Xiaoyu, playing outside, not letting her disturb Long Chen. No one knew a son better than his mother. Although she didn't know what he had experienced during these years, she could see his weariness. She couldn't give him anything except a good sleep. Long Chen woke refreshed. He walked out of the grass hut and felt the warm sunlight strike him. He stretched feeling full of energy. Big brother, play with me. Seeing Long Chen come out, Xiaoyu immediately ran over to him. After a day, she was much friendlier with Long Chen. Let's go play on a boat. Long Chen didn't have any good things on him for children to play with. What's so fun about a boat? Are we catching fish? Asked Xiaoyu. Long Chen waved his hand, summoning the flying boat. When the huge flying boat appeared in the sky, Mrs. Long jumped in shock. Xiaoyu also jumped, but then she cried out in excitement, immediately crying out to go on top of the flying boat. Long Chen had the flying boat descend onto the hillside. He opened the door and lowered the staircase, bringing his mother and sister up onto the flying boat. The two of them had never seen a flying boat before, and only once they got on did they realize the interior was dozens of times greater than how it appeared on the outside. Xiaoyu was incomparably excited and refused to get off. When it was noon, Long Shiang Xiao returned, and they ate lunch on the flying boat. Long Chen spent each day playing with Xiaoyu. When she was tired, she would crawl into his lap and sleep. Long Chen held her as he chatted with his parents, but he didn't bring up anything about the cultivation world. Time passed by quickly. A week went by before Long Chen brought up his true purpose in coming here. 
He wanted his parents to switch to a new environment. What ashamed him was that his parents didn't even ask for a reason before agreeing. They said switching environments was good for a change of pace, but he knew they were just comforting him. His parents were both sentimental people. Back then, they had left the Phoenix Cry Empire for him, and now he was sending them to another foreign place. He was truly making things hard on them. He wanted to send them to the Huaian sect with the Huaian sect's protection. No one would dare to touch them. Furthermore, Xiaoyu couldn't be isolated from the rest of the world. That wasn't good for her development. If they didn't like the secular world, then he could send them to the spirit world later. But that would be bad for Xiaoyu. Long Chen couldn't help being infuriated. He had gone out himself, but he had ended up implicating the normal lives of his father and mother. He couldn't even give them an ordinary life. On the eighth day, while he was accompanying Xiaoyu, the sky suddenly rumbled and a terrifying pressure descended. Another flying boat appeared. Chapter 1520 Heavenly Fate Island Translator Born to be the flying boat was extremely quick, and the air rumbled as it passed through rapidly. The villagers all hid themselves in terror. As expected, they came. Ice-cold chilling intent appeared in Long Chen's eyes. A dozen figures walked off the flying boat. One of them was holding a feng shu compass and pointing it at something. It's right here. Everyone split up. The middle-aged man holding the feng shu compass had a long beard and moustache. He possessed a slight immortal air. But as he was speaking, he realized something was off. He realized everyone was looking in one direction. He looked up to see three adults and one child standing in front of a grass hut. But when he saw the face of the black-robed man, his expression completely changed. You should go back and rest. My guests have come, said Long Chen. Long Shiang Xiao nodded. He didn't say anything as he pulled Mrs. Long and Xiaoyu back into the grass hut. He closed the door. Long. Long Chen. One of them stuttered out Long Chen's name. He was pale with terror. There were three powerful life star experts amongst their group. But in front of a single Jade Core disciple, they didn't even dare to move. You come from Heavenly Fate Island. Long Chen ignored the others, focusing on the middle-aged man. Correct. This matter has nothing to do with me. My heavenly fate island is only in charge of calculating things. We don't care about anything else, said the middle-aged man. Contrary to the others, he was very calm. It seemed he was very confident in the protective talisman that was the name of heavenly fate island. He then turned to the others. My mission ends here. The rest is your affair. Goodbye. The middle-aged man then took out a teleportation talisman. He immediately crushed it, and spatial runes wrapped around him. All of a sudden, a five-colored spear pierced through his body. Not only did it break the spatial runes, but it also left a bloody hole on his body. The middle-aged man let out a miserable cry as he fell from the sky. Lightning runes sparked around his injury, causing his body to twitch. He was only a peak soul transformation expert and couldn't resist Long Chen's five-colored lightning at all. He constantly wailed under the attack of the Thunder Force. The others glanced at each other and immediately fled. They even abandoned the flying boat and scattered in every direction. Before they could get anywhere, space shook. A cyan ripple spread, blowing those experts to pieces and extinguishing their souls. Heaven flipping seal. You've learned how to control your power? Nice job. Long Chen was delighted and looked up at the heaven flipping seal that was slowly revolving in the air. The heaven flipping seal immediately began to spin rapidly upon hearing Long Chen's praise. It was like a child. It's been so many days, but you've only managed to grasp such a rudimentary technique. It's not worth being proud of. Hurry up and return. I'll teach you how to use your second kind of divine rune. Evil Moon's harsh voice rang out. The heaven flipping seal immediately went still and returned to Long Chen's spiritual space. Evil Moon, the heaven flipping seal is still like a child. Make sure to balance work and rest. Don't be too ruthless, said Long Chen. He could sense the heaven flipping seal's fear of Evil Moon. Stop talking nonsense. Does this little bit of strictness count for anything? My evil dragon race is tossed into a sea of slaughter as soon as we're born. We're sent into a sea of powerful beasts, and we're essentially prey for them. If we want to live, we have to rely on our own power. During that time, we are on the border of death constantly. T. 
TCH, is this little bit of work worth a damn? Snorted Evil Moon. Long Chen was helpless toward this. Evil Moon's strong desire for slaughter was connected to the environment it had grown up in. No one could change it. He could only comfort the heaven flipping seal. If Evil Moon was the bad cop, then he would have to be the good cop. That way the heaven flipping seal wouldn't feel so bad. The middle aged man was still wailing. Long Chen gave him a kick, sending him tumbling back. But after that kick, his wailing stopped. It wasn't that he had died, but that Long Chen had pulled back his thunder force. Although it had just been a few breaths time, this soul transformation expert's meridians had been destroyed by the thunder force, and even his dantian was destroyed. He was like a living corpse now. This was the terror of five colored lightning. Not just anyone could resist it. It was even more terrifying than the strongest poisons. Long Chen, you dare to attack me, a disciple of Heavenly Fate Island. You are courting death, raged the middle-aged man. He glared at Long Chen with rancor over having his dantian destroyed. This is retribution. Your Heavenly Fate Island decided to cooperate with them to scheme against me. If you were just targeting me, although I would be angry, I could accept it. But you actually decided to target my parents. Now you've touched my reverse scale, said Long Chen coldly. That's a joke. My heavenly fate island only helps others calculate the lines of fate. We don't participate in any struggles. This is our iron law that hasn't been broken for tens of thousands of years. If you have the ability, you should find retribution with them and not cast your anger on my heavenly fate island. However, it doesn't matter anymore. You've already committed a taboo against my heavenly fate island. Now, no matter where you go in the martial heaven continent, you won't be able to get away. Long Chen suddenly stamped his foot down on that person's leg. The middle-aged man immediately turned white as paper and quivered intensely. The intense pain made it so he couldn't even speak. With his understanding of the human body, Long Chen was proficient in targeting the most painful parts of his enemy's bodies. The so-called iron law of your heavenly fate island might be able to restrict others but it can't restrict me. My iron law is that whoever provokes me will endure my reprisal. Your way of speaking is just like how the blood kill hall spoke back then. It was like the entire world had to play by their rules. Perhaps others are afraid of you, but I'm not. If Heavenly Fate Island doesn't give me a satisfactory explanation for this, I will sooner or later destroy it, said Long Chen coldly. Haha, <laughs> cough, you are courting death. The middle-aged man endured the pain to sneer at Long Chen, but his voice was shuddering, and the veins on his forehead almost exploded. Long Chen smiled faintly, and his killing intent vanished. He indifferently said, it'll be clear who's courting death in the future. However, you will not see that day. Long Chen had originally been controlled by fury, and he had wanted to crush this arrogant fellow in front of him into pieces. But then he suddenly recalled what his father had said. He couldn't play along at other people's tempo. He had to give himself a chance to breathe. The more his enemy wanted to infuriate him, the more he couldn't let himself get angry. Even if he killed this person in front of him, it wouldn't resolve his current predicament. Anger was an instinct. Suppressing one's anger was the true skill. Only by suppressing his anger could he make the correct decision. Long Chen pulled the middle-aged man's finger and took off his spatial ring. Long Chen's divine sense entered it, and he saw some strange diagrams and bizarre tools. However, he didn't know how to use any of them. He pointed a finger at the middle-aged man's forehead. His spiritual strength forced its way into his mind. See, oh, so there's a defensive restriction? Be broken. Long Chen snorted, and his spiritual strength burst out, shattering those defenses. At that moment, light exploded. A gate of light appeared in front of him and an indistinct figure showed up from within it. This indistinct figure grew clearer until it revealed a cold-faced, white-haired elder with a strange vertical crack on his forehead. You are Long Chen. The elder sat cross-legged within the light, staring coldly at Long Chen like a god. You are the boss of Heavenly Fate Island, asked Long Chen equally coldly. The elder's eyes turned even colder. Release the disciple of my Heavenly Fate Island. Don't make a mistake. Are you not the boss? Sneered Long Chen. Don't force me to kill you. No one can provoke the dignity of Heavenly Fate Island. Let me warn you. 
you might have some room to live after provoking Pill Valley, but if you provoke Heavenly Fate Island, you'll have no chance of surviving. The Elder's gaze was sharp like a blade piercing through space to stab into Long Chen's eyes. I don't believe you. I want to test it, mocked Long Chen. His spiritual strength surged forward once more, attacking the middle-aged man's defenses and peering into his memories. Since that's the case, then you can just die. This mysterious elder suddenly roared and the crack on his forehead opened. A ray of divine light shot out, actually entering Long Chen's mind see even when they were separated by endless space. This ray of divine light was extremely strange. Long Chen couldn't block it no matter what he did, and it charged directly into the depths of his mind see. A burst of intense pain came from Long Chen's soul. That light was trying to kill him. Long Chen was shocked. He hadn't expected there to be such a technique that allowed one to kill others even when they were in completely different places. None of his defenses were able to stop the divine light. If he allowed it to pierce straight through his mind see, his spiritual space would collapse, and he would die. Bastard. Stop. Long Chen roared and summoned all his spiritual strength to form powerful spiritual walls. Unfortunately these spiritual walls were all pierced one by one without even slowing the divine light down. I already gave you a chance, but you didn't take it. You can only blame yourself, sneered the elder like a supreme judge. Just as he sneered and Long Chen was horrified, the divine gate in the depths of Long Chen's mind see unleashed endless divine might. The divine gate star within it emitted its own ray of divine light. 